Hachi! Welcome in everybody to part two of Freya's VA plays through Little Goody Two Shoes. Hi everybody, how you doing? As always, we are co-streaming on both YouTube and Twitch. So if you're on one platform and not the other, then... And it looks like I'm talking to ghosts, then it is because I am indeed talking to the ghost of Twitch or YouTube pest. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, one moment while I grab something real quick. Okay, there's that. And there's... Oop. Okay, I am just... forgetting to set up some stuff there. One moment! But I'll welcome in everybody! Welcome in, welcome in! You know what? I don't... I don't need to be able to see my notifications. This is fine. Will Freya keep rising, rising herself up? Yes. <laughs> Hi! Welcome in, welcome in! Ohachi! Elliot! DJ Natro, a thesis, cat, clover, hidden man, dander, code, aqua, um, a thesis, clover star, dapper down, nona man, yan, yari, oppressor, coffee time, good to see you guys, steely do. Um, kiraga, hopeful cakes, akami tia, john nuck, welcome in. Tempest, Sticky Mochi, Table Mate, Ruby, um, welcome in, welcome in, Ohachi, Mastermind Loto, good to see you again, Millennia, Panis, DJ Music Studio, Poncho, Korgoth, welcome, welcome, Soko, Cosmo Aura, hi, Taksama, Luke Mapash, welcome, Unlucky Me, Andrew. He started streaming on YouTube. I have a VOD up from last week. Well, so the, the thing is that at the very beginning of when I started streaming uh, a couple of years ago, I originally did a series called Fuzzy Buzzy Fridays on YouTube. So I would stream on Twitch every day besides Fridays, and then Fridays would have a, a YouTube stream. So the ones that have been here a very, very, very long time will, rem will remember Fuzzy Buzzy Fridays. But um, first time watching you on YouTube instead of Twitch, however brief. Yeah, up to you guys to decide where you want to watch. Either YouTube or Twitch. But it makes me happy to see both of you guys. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Yanos. It was good to see you. And Oyasubi. Oyasubi. It has been a long while, Loto. How have you been? Have you been? Hi, Hyundai Typhoon. Welcome in. Welcome in. For those of you guys that are new here, let me go ahead and introduce myself. Ohachi. That's how we say hello here. It's a pun on Ohio and Hachi, which mean good morning and B in Japanese, respectively. I am Phoebe. I am your 2.5D fairy tale idol that loves to write my own music on both the IRL and the virtual stage. Oh no, wait. I like to write my, my own music in both Japanese and English and perform them on both the IRL and the virtual stage. Um, and in, in addition to doing idol stuff, I also voice act. And Freya was my very, very first big role in a game. And the first time I got to voice act for a game in Japanese as well. So, um, I'm gonna keep working my very, very hardest to improve and to follow my dreams and to reach higher heights with you guys. My Phoebe Hive. You're now part of my Phoebe Hive. Whether you intended to be or not. <laughs> Hey! Your voice is so cute, thank you! I hope you guys have been having a fantastic week. Happy, happy late Thanksgiving, whether you celebrate it or not. I wanted to tell you guys that I am very, very thankful and grateful for your presence in my life, for all of your love and support on my music and on my voice acting, on my streams, and for cheering me on. Truly, truly. I appreciate that. No matter how... No matter how long or how short you've been part of the Phoebe Hive, I care about you a lot, and I want this to be a space where you can feel free to be yourself and feel comfortable and have a good time. 
And... You're very, very dear to me. So thank you. Um... Yeah, welcome in. This is part two of our series. It is a series that goes on Fridays. I used to stream a lot more every week. Um, I've been really, really busy. I just got off of my very, very first U.S. tour as an idol. And now that I'm done with that, I should have a little bit more time to stream. So I'm starting slow by going back to Friday streams with you all. Mm -hmm. I know I'm late to the game, but thank you for your hard work at Tokyo Game Show 2023. Thank you, Cosmo Aura. It was wonderful getting to meet you. It was so wonderful getting to meet you. I te yokatta. Hontoni. Ureshikatta desu. Uh, idol work is very busy work. Indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. Last week was so fun. So thank you so much, everybody that came out and watched the very first part of our series. We're going to keep going until we reach Freya's happy ending. Are you planning to stream more regularly after finishing Little, little, little Goody Two Shows? Um, probably just staying on Fridays. Probably just keeping it to Fridays, because I do have a lot of other weekly work I have to do from week to week. Um, Vivi has a lot of different kinds of dreams that she's pursuing right now. And I want to give my all to each and every one of them. But I also miss you guys all the time. So <laughs> I want to show Little Goody Two Shoes lots of love. And show the Phoebe Hive community lots of love. So yeah. I guess we're going to be doing Fuzzy Buzzy Fridays again. Even after we finish Little Goody Two Shoes. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we can play Pocket Mirror or something afterwards. We shall see. Maybe I saw Queen Honeybee and she wanted one of my flowers. Did you share your flowers with her? I'm sure she was very, very grateful. Hi, and thank you so much for the subscription, Tempest Mask. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Hi. Maybe not getting too absorbed in her work. Impossible. <laughs> well, I, I did end up staying home and working during Thanksgiving a little bit yesterday. But I celebrated with some... I celebrated with some of my, uh... My housemate's family afterwards. Mm -hmm. Just to know, I was looking on the website, and in the music tab, your, it says your first original album was released 20, 2033? 2033! Huh! Huh! Oh my gosh, thank you for letting me know that. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I am a time traveler, I guess. I came from the future. A future where. Phoebe and the Phoebe Hive have taken over the world. And I have become the world's number one idol. Mmm. A comfy, cozy future where there is no war and no sickness and no hunger. Only comfy, cozy, and gay. That's it. Comfy, cozy, and gay. <laughs> yes. Mmm. More gameplays would be great. Mm-hmm. Well, definitely, I'll definitely find more things to play together with you guys. For sure. In the meantime, though, shall we go ahead and get started? Shall we go ahead and get started with some little goody two shoes? Right? Let's go. Oh, I love the music for this so much. And you guys can let me know if the sound for the game is a good balance with my voice as well. Hi. Let me. There you go. Little goody two shoes. Little goody two shoes. Ah, oh, I love Diana's voice. I love Chisa's voice and Otto's voice and everybody's voice so much. Here we go. Last time we left off with Freya's second date. Will this game be on the Switch? It is already on the Switch, as far as I know. Or... is it not? Ah, oh, thank you so much, Cosmo Aura. Yo, Crabble! How you doing? How you do? The future sounds very post-apocalyptic. Yeah, it is after the apocalypse. It has become a utopia. I still wish we could pet the dog, though. The voice acting so good. Right? Luca, thank you so much for the bits! Okay, I think we can get our daily bread... ...from... 
Aha, there she is, Leb. Give us... Give us this Elise, her daily bread. Don't you start, Leb Kuhan. I am not explaining myself again. My lips are sealed. You can stand there looking at me all you want. She's a rather sweet lass, I must say. Leb Kuhan. I know you, Elise. She's my cousin. There's nothing more to it. Oh, could you say that again? She's, um... You know... No, I don't know, Elise. And that's why I'm asking. Now that we got that out of the way, won't you tell me who she is? Ah, uh, she knows us too well. She is our Osanana Jimmy, after all. Hmm. If the future is that post-apocalyptic, can I have a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire named Phoebe? If you, if you would like to, Chuck Samal, if you, if you would like to... <laughs> am I like... Am I... Does Phoebe remind you of a baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire? Hi, little funny. How you doing? Congrats! Wow. I found her hiding in my granary on Saturday. A traveler. I'm not convinced either, Leb, but I felt sorry for the poor lass. She says she'll be leaving right after the festival, so it's only temporary. What has she come here to do? She won't tell me much herself. I had no intention of bringing her to Kieferberg, but she... graced us with her presence, I suppose. I had to think of something right there and then. Elise... I shouldn't be housing a stranger, let alone put myself in harm's way for her, but... I understand, Elise. Oh, Leb... I also understand what you're telling me is a half-truth at best. I mean... But it is true! I found her in my granary. Here's your bread. You'll let me know if you need more, won't you? Can you give me more bread? Right now? I trust you all the same, Elise. You don't have to help me, Leb. You know that. Yet here I am. Look at me, Elise. I do trust you. I need you to know that. Alright. Stay out of trouble now. I'll see you tomorrow. Man, she trusts us a lot. I mean, I don't see what the lie was, though. We really... <laughs> we really meant it. Hold on, do I need to buy any more stuff? I need to prepare for spooky stuff that happens in the night. Spooky stuff that goes bump in the night. What did I have to get? Ah, I forget what I had to get Muffy. Was it soup? Was it a Leb Kuhan? Let's buy a little more stuff. Whatcha buying? Whatcha selling? Um... Let's go ahead and get a pretzel. Oh my bad, mop it. I forgot. Mary. Martin. Mubby. Oh, you're right, Mubby. That was totally her name. What day are you on? Um, let me see. I do believe we're on day... I think we're on day... Three? Day two. If it's day two, then I think pretzel. Mulchy? Yeah, mulchy. Yeah, the pretzel. I mean, I could load a save. Oh, no, 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 wait. I was going to... Yeah, Michael? What's Michael? What's Michael? Tell me what you're thinking. Have you guys seen that? <laughs> oh, by the way, did anybody go Black Friday shopping? I, uh... I had some guests at my house. And so I wasn't able to go out Black Friday shopping, but I don't know if I would have liked to anyway, because... Um, I am very small. And I would probably get run over by hordes of people. Hmm... I should get some St. Walpurgo's oil. Ah, uh, no, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna lose that much sanity. I'll get one more grape juice. And... 
There, that should be good enough for now. Yeah, the background music is amazing. Do I have anything to sell? Nope. Nope. Not at all. Goodbye, Mrs. Welma. Goodbye, hot lady. Did the main character already meet me? Yes! Yes, already. And we've gone on two dates with myself so far. <laughs> okay, let's go home now. What say you, father? On your way home, Elise? Quite late, I'm aware. Our fellows are out on patrol for a reason, lass. I'm still not certain it's for a good... I'm still not certain it's for a good reason, if I'm honest. Me too, Mr. Gustav. I must say, I don't quite see the use for it. Gustav here just doesn't want to make the rounds, I think. I'd say getting a good night's sleep would do us all better, is all. Yeah, you know what? If you... if you... if you're hangry... or you're sleepy... you get cranky. And then you believe in witches. And then you burn innocent people at the stake. That's what happens. <gasps> Dollhouse Raid! Hello, Lee! And thank you so much for the raid! How was your stream? How was it? What did you guys do? Everybody, please go give Lane lots of love. She is the Cheryl to my Ronka. She is a dear, dear friend of mine. And also voice acts. Yeah, I do love the nighttime background music. It's like a fairy tale. Welcome in, you guys. I am Phoebe, your 2.5D fairy tale idol. I am playing through Little Goody Two Shoes right now, a new horror game that just came out on, on Halloween. And it's a game that I got to do voice acting for in both English and in Japanese. As the character that I'm using as my PNG tuber. Phoebes, you are a fairy tale. <gasps> I am a fairy tale? You know, I do sing to plants to make them grow. Back when I was younger and I used to help my mom with the... with the gardening and stuff. I used to sing to my plants to make them grow. Mercury, how you doing? Somebody get old Jock in a Snickers. Yeah, or was it... Oh, so Jochen? Yeah, old Jochen. Jochen. A Snickers. He's not himself when he's hungry. He's really not. Oh, thank you, LSR. I really appreciate it. Went from singing acoustic emo classics to rock music to Broadway. That sounds amazing. I'm gonna have to check out the VOD for that later on. Is Phoebe a Disney princess? I am certainly a princess, but I cannot say yet that I am a Disney TM princess. <laughs> but maybe one day. I would love to have like a singing role. In a... Animation or a... A movie or... I, I had a couple of singing roles in games before though. Ah, uh, there you are, Lise. It's quite late, isn't it? For goodness sake. Spare me the earful, Rosemarine. What's there to sweep out here after of nightfall after... anyhow? Uh, I'm sorry. Well, I was keeping myself busy until you came home is all. And Flock here was amusing himself chasing after the broom. Flock? Weren't you, Flock? Oh, how Flock is so baby! He just go bounce, 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 bounce. What's for supper then? Yes. Oh, I made grape soup. S soup? <laughs> Grape? Soup? Huh? Uh... I mean, I like summer salads. And you don't think of salads as having, like, strawberries in them all. Maybe it's okay? <laughs> we have eggs. What about the eggs? Of course. I cooked those too. Oh, thank goodness. Some normal food. It's finally some good friggin' food. I thought we could toast some of yesterday's bread to half of them. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Elise really doesn't trust Ros Rosenmarine with the cooking, huh? Eggy toast ought to be enough for today, I suppose. Let's head inside, Rosmarine. Is she ever gonna call her the right name? What? <laughs> it's nothing. Oh, but I... Elise, wait! Isn't grape soup just juice? Imagine, like, warm... grape... juice. 
Oh... I don't know about that. <laughs> her name is Rosemary. Ah, I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna start calling her the wrong thing. Even when I'm not acting as Elise. It's tastier than it looks, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Could have been worse, that's for certain. Also, it turned out good. Anything tastes good when you're hungry, I find. I suppose today went well, all things considered. I best keep my eye on her, lest those folks... I'm sorry, I... Say, Elise, I've been meaning to ask you something. I love the little munching sounds, you know, nom nom nom. Hmm? Those shoes you found this morning. Now that you mention it... Uh, what about them? You still haven't told me much about them. Well, it's not like we know a whole lot about them. I've seen them before in my dreams. A long time ago. In your dreams? I'm sorry, I... Elise, is there something you're not telling me? Uh... I don't know where to start, Rosmarine. I've been avoiding thinking about it, but this morning, in Kieferberg, I... It's fate, Elise. Her fate, Elise! They're finally starting to align! Huh? <laughs> oh, never mind. I saw an old hag, Rosmarine. And it wasn't one of the ladies in the village. Because <laughs> there are a couple of old hags in there that are really mean to us for some reason. She told me about this patron saint in the woods. That he grants folks wishes if they bring him gifts. Sounds pretty sussy if I do say so myself. So it's true after all. Huh? You know about this? You've heard about all this before? Carry on, carry on. She said I must bring him three gifts. And one of them's supposed to be my girlfriend. <laughs> oh. Also, thank you so much, Hidden Nen, for the five gifted subs. Um, welcome, Bribong, Yanos, Bromora, Oishizo, and Hibiki. And also, thank you so much, Oishizo, for paying it forward and giving a gifted sub to Katerna. Welcome in. The tender flesh, sweetest nectar, and good company. I don't want to sacrifice my girlfriend. Oh, Elise, that's wonderful! You must sacrifice your girlfriend! What else did she say? Did she mention your fate? For goodness sake! Oh, you're scaring me with all this nonsense! <laughs> oh, there's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. You know, I... How do you know about all this? It's an old folk tale my granny used to tell me. I need flesh, blood, and girlfriend. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a folk tale. Carry on now. What else did she say? She mentioned finding a dwelling in the woods. That he will grant my wish if I bring him three gifts made from these testaments. You told her your wish, didn't you? I did, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's... Tell me? Yeah, if you tell her, then the wish won't come true. And you won't get to sacrifice your girlfriend. Maybe that's for the best. <gasps> Rosa Marine and Marina Nishiusta. <laughs> I'm sorry. You can't tell other folks about your wish, Elise. Out with it! Roz Marine, you have to tell me what's going on! Oh, all I know is what my granny told me, but... I can tell you all about it, Elise. I can help you. Rosa Marine. Roz Marine, I... I need to think about this. I'll be here tidying up. You can ask me anything you'd like. All right. Oh, uh, hi, Mitchy! Mitchy! It's so good to see you! Mitchy made... Mitchy made that really, really cute... Um, a Freya and Elise animation. That you guys might have seen me post on Twitter. Um, and also has made really, really cute other fan art before. And I still plan on making that... That fan dub of your first animation. Mm. Thank you so much for popping in. Rosmarine. You don't have to look so frightened, Elise. I like how Rosenmarine corrects everybody... That calls her the wrong name, except for Elise. So she's like... Oh, I'm okay with you calling me the wrong name. I'm okay with you calling me... Mubby. If... If it's you, Elise. Girlfriends are temporary. Eternal happiness is forever. Is money eternal happiness? Is it, though? This is all very overwhelming, is all. 
Oh, Elise, isn't fate such a wonderful thing? Enough of that, Rosmarine. What are these testaments and gifts? Ah, of course! In order to meet him, you're going to have to gather the testaments into your resolve. These are tools and ingredients you'll have to use when crafting the gifts. It's common courtesy to bring your host nice gifts when visiting, isn't it? Oh. Ah, there's also the trials, but I can tell you all about his folktale later. Alright then. For now I want to know... Uh, what is the tender flesh? I don't quite like the sound of it, but... Oh, you're the one making it sound bad, Elise. No, I'm pretty sure tender flesh sounds pretty nasty. <laughs> yeah, she's way too good at compartmentalizing. She's... she has selective thinking. Uh, are infinite pretty dresses and matching jewelry and shoes worth? Well... Stairs of my closet full of Lolita dresses and... Really pink clothes. Um... <laughs> I... I can find other dreams. <laughs> We can make ourselves pretty clothes. Instead of having infinite of them. The tender flesh represents your body. The vessel for your soul, so to speak. Well, what, then I'm gonna be giving my body to this random guy in the forest? That sounds pretty sussy to me. A representation of my flesh, then? All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal body. Huh? It's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. It can be a nail clipping, or a strand of hair. Oh. There are some weirdos that... want to collect... nail clippings and hair pieces from their idols. You know, make test tube babies and stuff. What's important is the connection between you and the symbolic vessel. A symbolic vessel. Rosmarine. Uh, what is the sweetest nectar? It's not as though I don't have an idea, but I don't quite like it. It represents your vitality, Elise. Your essence! That sounds... worse than I thought! You don't mean... All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal body. A part of my mortal body, huh? I know what you're thinking, Elise. That could be it. If that's what you're inclined to bring him, but... I don't know! I actually don't know! I don't know what the sweet nectar could be if it's part of my body! I don't know, it sounds kind of weird! It sounds kind of scary! What is it, Rosmarine? These are meant as proof of your resolve, first and foremost. It's your determination that's most important, Elise. Ah, merci me! Um, thank you so much! I'm glad that you... that you popped in. And yep, I'm the voice actress for Freya. Ah... <sighs> Rosmarine... What is the good company? I don't know what to think of this one. You should meet him when your soul is at its most vulnerable. Yuria! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome in, welcome in! How was your stream? Wow! <sighs> if you guys don't know who Yuria is... If you don't know who Yuria is, then you best go give Yuria lots and lots of love. Lots and lots of love, please. How was your stream and what did you guys do? What did you do? Ah, welcome in, welcome in. Um, for those of you guys that are new here, I am Phoebe, your 2.5D fairy tale idol. I love to write my own songs in English and in Japanese and perform them on both the IRL and the virtual stage as an idol. I also do voice acting and this is the very first game that I got to voice act in in English and Japanese. And I got to voice act as Freya! The character that you see on the bottom right of the screen, that is Freya. And we are currently going through her route right now in this game. This is a horror RPG. And it is wonderful. And we are... I'm romancing myself, I guess. <laughs> yes, I am romancing myself. <laughs> I hope you had fun playing Liza P. I've been really wanting to check it out. And not just because Pinocchio's a beachy. No, totally not because of that. <laughs> I'm Fold? Hey! <laughs> Horror RPG like Omori? Yeah, kind of like Omori. I'd say, I'd say it's similar, but it doesn't have like turn-based battles and stuff. We're prepping to sacrifice friend. No! I mean... 
she is going to be my chosen one, but... Mm, I'm aiming for a zero sacrifice run, <laughs> if possible. Granny used to say good company brings one's innermost self to light. One's true face, in other words. Rosmarine, I'm not sure I understand. Why, it's love, Elise. Love? Love reveals all, wouldn't you say? I suppose... I need time to think. I still can't wrap my head around this nonsense, Rosmarine. That's alright, Elise. I'll be here if you have any more questions. I think I need a moment. Bringing him gifts made out of testaments. And I'm supposed to find these somewhere? But where? Well, two of them apparently are supposed to come from your own body, which sounds nasty. And then one of them's supposed to be your girlfriend? Huh? Hello, bird. How you doing? Hehe. <laughs> Liza P. Pinocchio does look Ikemen as heck. It's truly, truly. Fortune comes and goes, but Freya is forever. This is true. Hmm. Elise. What is it, Rosmarine? I still haven't told you much about myself, but... I'll be outside in the granary, if you want to talk more. I'll think about it, Rosmarine. The granary? Why are you going to the granary? At night? Man, nothing to eat in this house except for the pretzel, the cookie, the four breads... The grapes, all in my pocket. Oh, what the heck is this? This is where we found the shoes earlier. Just another girl with a wish. Doesn't everyone have a wish or two? Not all that meet him do. I was once what you'd call the good company, despite these red shoes. The object of her affections, I suppose. What are you talking about? So if we sacrifice Freya, she's gonna become a glowy thing! Oh no. I was forsaken in his den by the one I loved. Whoever you bring to keep him company, bear in mind, this will be their fate. A good company. Uh oh. How's our sanity looking? It's looking okay. It's looking right. Did it glitch just now? I think that was like a fast forwarding thing. How do I take my my lamp out again? What button is it? I guess he specifically targets sapphic women. That's so... Ah. Uh, homophobic. The homophobic he. Whomst is he? How do I get to the granary again? Left control. Ah, thank you. Oops. I think the granary is accessible through the backyard? Yeah, the back door was the one that was open at the beginning. So happy right now. Aww. I'm glad for you, Taksama. What's going on? Would you like to share your happy news? Himophobic. <laughs> Hello. I knew you'd come about, Elise. You seem to know everything, don't you? Not at all. Oh, she only knows what she knows. She's Hanekawa. Any Monogatari fans in the chat? But feel free to ask me anything you'd like. Alright, well... Who is he? You said your granny used to tell you this folk tale. He's a patron, St. Elise. He grants folks his wishes for a heavy price. A heavy price, huh? He, whose name has been lost to time, is a benevolent entity. It's said he can grant folks wishes if they show him their resolve. Firstly, you ought to acknowledge his invitation to meet him. The shoes, I suppose. That's the only explanation. Well, how was I supposed to know it was an invitation? Maybe my granny left me a pretty gift in the backyard. Before she died. If you do, he will then welcome you to his trials. Trials? If you do clear them and show him your resolve by doing so, he will give you a testament. All right. You will then have to use the testaments to craft him gifts. And go out into the woods, 
gifts in hand on the night of a full moon to summon him. It sounds an awful like like a cautionary... Yeah, yeah, see? She knows! She knows it's sussy! Also, Monogatari is really, really good. It was a fantastically written book, series, and it's a great anime. It's one of my favorites. Other than, like, Madoka... Oh, but we're now finding out it's more than that, aren't we? I suppose... Yeah, it's not just a cautionary tale. It's just cautionary in general. Uh-huh, it was based on a light novel series. You wanna watch it, but it intimidates you. I mean... If you're... If you're patient enough to read a book... Then you can enjoy Monogatari. I think it's wonderful. Hair, blood, and girlfriend sacrifices sounds a lot, awful lot like the work of a demon. Right? Right? I'll have to find out for myself whether that's true or not. Oh yeah, we should ask her about herself too. Who the heck are you? You haven't told me enough about yourself. Well... How to say... I'm a strong believer in fate, Elise. Fate, you say? I've dreamed about you. About Kieferberg. Your home, your shoes. Ever since I was born, I've known my fate was with you, Elise. That's not creepy at all! I don't understand, Rosmarine. Those dreams were premonitions, I'm certain. They stopped the night I reached Kieferberg, which can only mean that... Well, I guess if you dream about the same thing every single night for your whole life, from the moment you're born, then you ought to be kind of obsessed with it. That I'm currently living out my own fate. By your side, Elise. I find that very difficult to believe, Rosmarine. I know it all sounds very strange, but... My granny taught me everything I know, you see? About nature, about the cosmos, about faith, and about the woodland. Ah, Nemu! Thank you so much for the magical friend raid! Welcome in, welcome in! How are you guys doing? We're playing some more Little Goody Two Shoes! I think you raided in the last time we played as well. The woodland, you say? She told me all sorts of tales from the past. About our community, about its origins, and our patroness, Walpurga. I mean, our patroness is also Walpurga. Hmm... <sighs> eh, Nemu, how was your stream? I hope you had a good one. Isn't it such a coincidence both our patronesses have the same name? Are they not the same? Matt, Rosamarine comes so strong, I love her, but I don't know how much I'd be able to take her seriously. Yeah, if it was me, I'd be a little bit freaked out, honestly. I love her, though. She sounds very sweet. Yeah, it sounds like Walpurge is knocked, right? It has to be Fatalise. Uh, I'm... not too sure about that. You see, some things had yet to make sense to me until recently. I didn't understand my own dreams for a long, long time. Or why I could sense, see, and feel things unspoken. Rosmarine. Why folks called us foul names. Or why Granny preferred to sleep under the stars most nights. Oh wait, that's really sad. Eh? Yet it all fell into place, Elise. As she told me it would. Fate will guide you if you let it. All you have to do is trust your instincts. I mean, if people have been really, really mean to her and her granny her whole life, then I guess even somebody like Elise would come off as being, like, super kind to her. Like her savior, you know? When I was 11 years old, I wanted to be a wizard, but then I realized magic isn't real. Hey! You don't know that magic isn't real. I like to still believe that there's a possibility, you know? When I was a little kid, I firmly believed I was a flower fairy. I, like, I really believed so. And it got to the point where at some point, I think I had gaslit myself enough... ...to the point where my, I, I overheard my parents talking in the other room being like... You know? What if she really is a fairy? And they were like... Whoa... <laughs> so I don't know. I mean, to be honest... I had the whole... I had the whole talk with my parents about... I had the whole talk with my parents. Actually, my parents accidentally revealed to me that Santa Claus isn't real. Just like two years ago or so. And I cried. <laughs> so who knows? Who knows? 
I think there's something magical in in belief, the power of belief, you know? And that's kind of what Monogatari is about, actually. Well, I play Coffin of Andy and Laylee. I've been wanting to check it out, actually. I've been wanting to check it out and maybe, like, voice act it a little bit. I'm going back inside. Today was rather tiring. I'll head inside in a little while. I would like to... Whisper to the stars? Something like that. Don't take too long, Rosmarine. I'd best get some sleep before I lose my mind. Hey, don't laugh at me! I was a gullible child! I was. Santa Claus is a cryptid that we, that we hunted to extinction. We hunted Santa Claus?! That's horrible! But I would say... That Santa Claus is not is indeed a cryptid. Oh, thank you so much, Plas. I hope that you were able to watch the rest of the VOD, which is gonna be up on YouTube. Um, or you're able to come again in the future. Oh, yes, Avi! Gifts, huh? I'd best go to bed. I'll make sense of all this tomorrow. Oh, boy. It is spooky time. Phoebe streams My Sims when I actually have the PC port of My Sims. Because I loved My Sims and My Sims Kingdom when I was little. Is he technically a cryptid? He is! Because he's a being that we can know we can not prove neither prove nor disprove the existence of. What if Krampus hunted Santa to extinction? Don't some people think that Krampus is Santa? Hi Julia, how you doing? I can't sleep. This was me a couple days ago. I can't stop thinking about all this nonsense! So what are we gonna do? Pace about the room? Wow... What a pretty CD! Everything that old hack told me... About the testaments... The gifts... About him... What Rosmarine told me too... I find it hard to believe, but maybe... Maybe it's true... If I do gather these testaments, if I do find my way to him, maybe I can finally leave this wretched town and leave the life I'm meant to live. Now that you mention it, start anew, someplace far, far away. This could very well be my chance for happiness. Mm, but is it worth? I ought to at least try. I have to go to the woodland and find out. Right now. Right now? I mean, I guess if we can't sleep... All this nonsense like sacrificing your girlfriend, sacrificing your girlfriend, and sacrificing your girlfriend... EXACTLY! Why does that sound like a good idea? Well, then again, it's not like Elise actually has a girlfriend at this point, so she's probably like, Hmm, love? Like my love for money? I can totally sacrifice... The money that I make for my odd jobs. Oh! <laughs> Who wants a marketable Phoebe plushie or a marketable Phoebe yarn doll? <gasps> I would love either of those. I've been wanting to make like a plushie for a while, but plushies are very expensive to uh to produce. Freya is sweetheart confirmed. Well, we're gonna try to make her our sweetheart and also make her our not sacrifice. Hi, Krilka. How you doing? Welcome in. You want a no you want a marketable Phoebe nestle berry? I need to find places that uh, that uh manufacture nestle berries. What if Phoebe did uh voice chat and did the oh sweetheart oh ho 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 soundboard? <laughs> Wait, which way to the... Oh, this is the way to the forest, I think. And Nestle Berry is, um... N-E-S-O Berry? That's like, a um... The lying down... Lying down plushies... That Love Life fans get... For Love Life characters? The Oshi or Makeshift could probably help. True! Maybe Makeshift. I think you can do, like, crowdfunding on there for it. The Hime Dede laugh scares you. Been traumatized by one too many... Yandere Himederes? Odo-samas? 
Let's see if that what that old hack said is true. Keep it together, Elise. I have to at least try. I did get a B plushie off of makeshift once. Creepy! Hello, my dear. How are you? I've missed you so much. You could always try to make your own super scuffed plushie like one of my friends did. Well, I have made felt felt yarn plushies with you guys on stream before. So tired. You've been real busy lately. You've been doing you've been doing superstar stuff. I'm so proud of you and all of your all of the music you've been working on and your performances lately. I ought to find him. I ought to be brave. Would 100% get one if you did a pre-order thing like makeshift. I can try. Oh, moths. I will say I love butterflies. And I love when they land on my nose and my head. But, uh... For some reason, even though moths are like just... Fat, fluffy... Butterflies, they're kind of like... They kind of spook me. I think it's because pat the patterns on their... Wings kind of look like faces. What is this wretched place? I'd best be careful. This could be dangerous. Yeah, um, this is where we turn back and we go home. Uh... The heck is... Ah! Ah! No! Oh, yeah, moths get drawn to a flame! Oh, those are candles. I see. This got their attention, I suppose. I'd better be careful moving forward. Oh, oh it's another one of those. What in the... Oh. Have you met the witch? She's so very eager to meet you again. Would you believe? The witch, you say? Your paths are bound to cross before long, but... I have my doubts you'll last long in the Black Wilderness. <laughs> Wait! What in the Lord's name? Oh, our sanity. Oh! I mean, it's not even halfway yet, so we should be okay. Oh. Is this a bloody dress? Such a foul smell! Moth eaten and frayed, an old dress rests in its blood soaked grave. Oh. No, what you doing? Ah! Oh, I am I'm, I'm, I am dumb. I am dumb. I am dumb. I don't know why I thought to touch it. I don't know why I thought to touch it. Okay. Um, we're gonna eat a pretzel. I was like, ooh, hand coming out of the ground. Let me hold it. Your hands look empty, little one. Wow, that's a lot of matches. I guess I kind of need them for this. Hmm. Okay, I'm afraid that if I have my lamp out, it's gonna attract the moths. Oh, oops! Ah, darn it. Hmm... That? Is that a... Is that a golden girl right there? I can't tell. Hmm... Wanna touch it again? No! Hmm... How to get over there? Oh, down here, I guess. Hey! Aha! Mushrooms! What do I do with that? TV becomes a small bean. Bold of you to assume that I am not already a small bean. Hmm... Oh no, I was a fool. I... <laughs> Mm. There. Yeah, I am at least three centimeters tall. If not more. Ah! Where am 
I going? Okay. Go this way. Go have to go all the way to the top and go down to the left side. Ah, thank you. How to get to the top? That's a wall. Or not. Um... That's a wall? Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay... This thing right here. Ta-da! I knew it! Take heed. She's taking advantage of you. Who is? That creature. She goes hungry. It's you she wants. Your flesh. The witch. Don't allow her to interfere with your wish. How would she interfere exactly? Wait! Her interference, she says. Ooh, a fancy handkerchief! Okay, I think it is about time that we get our sanity back up. Um... I can use... Ointment, bandages... Oh, grape juice. There you go. Okay, and then I go back up. She can grow pretty dirt shoes and sell them. <laughs> yes. Tending to your garden and waiting for harvest takes a long time. To get anything back from, it's easier to earn through made for hire. Ah. That is true. People around the town always need help, and for some reason they always have money to give me, so. I mean, but we could also plant stuff as well. Are you playing the game blind? I am indeed. There's so many! I must find a way to distract them. Um, let us... Let us, uh, save first. Obviously, I know some of the story because I did do voice acting for it. But stuff like the puzzles and all that, I am going in completely blind. Oh. Hello? I thought that was a candle. Oh no, I'm just... I'm just breaking things because I want to, I guess. What is that symbol? I've seen it before. It was on that little note on the ground. Let's see... Simply lighting it may not be enough. Oh, I have to lead them away. And is there anything else for them to light? Maybe down this way? Aha! Okay. Yeah, I have to play Tic Tac Moth. Any gameplay or art while working on it, or just story stuff? Um, I did see some art. But, uh... Not much more than you guys saw, probably. I was given a presentation by Kira and the rest of the production staff. Specifically about Freya. Looks like a doe's remains. I've never seen such a thing before. Pristine skeletal remains of a doe. Every bone barren of any kind of life. I didn't know that moths were carnivorous, though. What are those things on the top? Little cyclopses. Somebody drew little friends. Concept, hear me out with this. What if we made an investment toward a Phoebe lamp? When it's on, it lights up your room and sings all of Phoebe's best jams. And when you turn it off, it says, Oh yeah, Sylvie, upon switching. That's cute! 
I feel like you could do that with a plushie too, though. Like, if you put, like, a sound box inside. I like the lamp, though. The lamp idea. Okay, let's save here. I'm glad they give me lots and lots of save points, just in case I screw up. Hello, little bird. There's that weird tic-tac-toe again. Oh, praise the tic-tac-toe. Praise the tic-tac-toe. These look different, don't they? More matches. Uh, I guess the only way to get past them... Those aren't going anywhere. I must find a way to lure those butterflies off that carcass. I mean, we do have a lamp, so... What? What? <laughs> oh. Oh. This is our first death. Oh. Um... <laughs> You didn't see that. That didn't happen. <laughs> a light inside the plushie. Two and one. A light up plushie. Oh! That reminds me that I had this plushie when I was little. And my mom would tell me that it would... Help me have good dreams. She... It was like a little... A little dolly with pigtails. Like sparkly pigtails. And... She had like a little wand in her hand. So if you pressed her hand, then the wand in the other hand would light up. What is this? Weird tic-tac-toe. I've been spotting these scribbles scattered about. Are these... people? Engraved deep into the rocky surface are several familiar shapes reminiscent of human life. That's not a people! That's a tic-tac-toe! What's this? Ah, another one. So many golden girls. We golden maidens aren't to be sneered at. You'll understand in time, I'm certain. Why would you say that? My, you can't possibly think he'll give you his blessing. I was told otherwise. Oh, such naivete. How amusing you are. I can't wait to welcome you. What an infuriating character. Oh, whoops. I said... I said naivete. It's naivety. I don't know. I didn't know it was spelled like that. Ah! Oh. Ah! Ah! Scary, scary, scary. Um, let's eat some stuff. Naiva is a vibe. Stop! I'm embarrassed! I'm embarrassed! Stop! <laughs> ah. Was it a pillow pet? I remember having the unicorn one. No, it was like a doll. Oh no, that made the bread go up and not the health. Um... Oh yeah, we have ointment and stuff. Shiny stuff. This appeals to the Legend of Zelda player in me that just wants to shatter all the pots. Sometimes? This is really messed up. This is how I've been conditioned from childhood. When I'm at the store, like the furniture store, and I see like little like clay pots and stuff, I have I have to use all of my self-control to not pick them up and chuck them. Oh, great. All that just for matches. What the heck? They're devouring that thing, huh? Perhaps I could lure all those butterflies here to clear this path. Come at me! Come... Come at me! What? Hello? Shatter the pots for rupees. Wow, 
Why won't they follow me? Hello? Uh... Oh, like to help eat it? That's gross. Okay. Need an old sweater. Mobs love old sweaters. That's true. This is true. Ow, what the heck? Oh! Okay, yeah, there's that one. This stream has had twice as much death than the last stream. Hooray! I guess. My sanity. Will the mushrooms heal me if I eat them? They heal Mario. Mushrooms make Mario strong. Maybe these work the same. Yeah, thank you. Yes, eat all the mushrooms. These regular mushrooms. I mean, hopefully they're not poisonous or anything. Ah, uh, what even is the point of trying to lure them away? Ow! If they're just gonna damage me. Ah. Okay, this year I could lure all those butterflies here to clear this path. Oh, they're not moths? They're butterflies? All of them? Come on! I need all the butterflies? Hi, John Nook! Welcome in! This stream also had 100% less kiss the rat. That, that is... that is... <laughs> that is the bright side. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this conversation. And then... And then I'm gonna save, so I don't have to do that again. If I need 
every single... All the mods. If I need all the mods... Then I'm gonna give them... All the mods. Oh, wait. Crap. I'm gonna die. Uh... Oh, wait. Huh? Did I... Huh? Did I... What? Oh. It... It worked. If you're Freya, what do you like about Elise? Oh... I love the way that Lilise is more confident than me, and how she always speaks her mind. I love how elegant she is, and how she doesn't feel like she's a countryside girl at all. She's so unlike me. Honestly, she could be a princess. She's so stubborn and so cute whenever she gets embarrassed as well. I could go on. I could go on forever, but then the stream will, um, not go on forever. <laughs> Yeah, she's not like other girls. She's very... she's very, uh... Hashtag quirky. <laughs> yeah, Elise truly is like no other. Ah. Uh... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> That's gross. <sighs> okay, um, we heal first. There you go. Bah, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Should've stayed home. Look at that! <laughs> we, tr we tried and we've seen enough. Oh... I just really... I don't wanna... I don't... Hello? You've come to me at last. <gasps> Don't be frightened, Elise. Come closer. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't lose my head over this. <laughs> It's nasty! And it's everything that you were warned of! I told you to stay home! You've done well to find your way into these woods. <sighs> it's imperative, Elise, that you listen to me closely. He is once more trying to take you away from me, but not for long. Take this basket now. With my head?! You ought to gather the gifts in it, Elise. The gifts, you say? Find your way to him, deeper into this grove of mine. Only then may your wish come to fruition, my beloved. Wait... But she says... To be careful of him. But then she says... To find him... And bring him the gifts. Huh? What is this? I will guide you to him, Elise. You ought to trust my word. Your precious wish will be safe with me. How am I to find him? You, Elise, are my kin, my triumph, my beloved progeny. What he's done to me is no matter. All I want is you. I don't want to be part of this. 
Asian parents, when they switch from telling you to never trust boys to asking why you aren't married. Exactly! <laughs> um, mom? You know, Granny Holly really did just find us in the, in the forest. Oh. I will allow him and his pets into my woodland once more. I will allow him to tempt you. To toy with you. What are you? All for the greater good, my beloved. So that we can be reunited. So that I can bear life in my womb once more. I'm losing my wits! I need to get out of here! So I can retrieve what's mine. Huh? No! <laughs> wah, wah, wah. No! There's no returns on childbirth, ma'am! The stork won't take it back! Storkazon says no returns! Oh, man! I have to do that again? Yeah, this isn't how you play tic-tac-toe. We are so close to getting to the end. What is this? Ah, oh, there's no, there's no skipping this. What is this? Acquire straw basket. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I just don't like when you get hit and how the how the lamp turns off. Okay, we can do it. We can do it this time. This time I will not get lost. Rosmarine. Go home to Rosmarine. How romantic. Oh, hi there, Flock. Something scary just happened. Flock, what are you doing here? Huh? Huh? I thought you'd be in the granary or out and about. Goodness. I don't feel so good. <laughs> Flock, are you are you good? What is it, Flock? <laughs> I don't like the way he's staring at me. <gasps> oh, what are you? Rosmarine, come here and retrieve your freaky pet. Rosmarine, what are you doing here? Now he's acting normal. Kind of sussy. Something is amiss. Look, I was, I was out on a walk, which is true. 
This late at night? Oh, Flock. You know what? Flock, Flock isn't scary because he has just one eye. But the way he was staring was kind of freaky. Hi, Lissandra. Welcome in. Tis I, free eye. <laughs> Come. Let's go home, Rosmarine. Maid, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Please, wait! Hmm... Yeah, Flock, you're not you when you're hungry. We need to get him a Snickers as well. It's morning already. Ugh. <sighs> I suppose I really did go to the woodland, didn't I? I don't know what to think of all that, but... Both Rosmarine and the old hag... Neither were lying, it seems. I ought to pull myself together. It's best I head out to work for now. I'll lose my wits if I keep... Ah! Uh! God, every time I hear Flock now, I'm gonna freak out. Rosmarine and Flock... What are they doing out there? I mean... They're allowed to... Hang out in the garden as well. Uh, yes! It is out on the Nintendo Switch store! And... Lots of consoles. Hello? Are they at the granary, or...? No, probably not. Probably... Outside the front door? <laughs> yeah, she just can't get Rose and Marine's name correct. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> you two are always making merry, huh? Oh, he is so cute, though. He's still cute. Good morning to you, too, Flock. <laughs> I picked some mushrooms this morning, Elise. We can have them for breakfast. I also picked some mushrooms in the scary forest! I... Say, Rosmarine... You put Flock away in the granary last night, right? Uh, of course. I think he's taking a liking to it, too. I always leave the door open a, a little ajar, just in case. I see. Is that so? I think we should start locking him in there, though. You know, to just for for safety. His safety, of course. Is everything all right, Elise? You seemed to be on edge last night, too. Uh... It's nothing, Rosmarine. I had strange dreams, is all. I know you went to the woods, Elise. Oh. How'd you know that? Your dreams? You don't have to tell me about it, but... You know now, don't you? That I'm speaking the truth. Oh, Flock was way too happy about that. Flock him in! Flock him in! Flock him in! Flock him in! Anyhow, come along. Let's head to work. You're taking me to town? <laughs> we have to stick to our story, don't we? Come now. Let's head to town. Please. Flat Fudge Friday. <gasps> it's Flat Fudge Friday. Fudge and losers. It's Flat Fudge Friday. <laughs> flat Fudge Friday. Fudge and losers. It's Flat Fudge Friday. What does Freya feel when she first saw Rosamarine with Elise? Well, I was just happy that Elise didn't have to live alone anymore. I was so worried that she was all lonely by herself. It was lovely to meet Roz and Marine as well. But it does perplex me why Elise keeps saying Roz Marine. That bright tear to my eye. Ah, yes. We are all celebrators of Flat Fudge Friday here. Dun. How exciting!
Mind Jabber! Oh wait, look! That symbol's up there as well. Hmm. Definitely love the 90s vibe. It does, it does give off some Slayer's vibes. The, the, the art style at the very least. Kira and the whole art team were amazing. Okay. Day three, I believe. Where's everyone? Oh, do folks usually gather here? I wonder if something happened. Uh-oh. Come now, Rosmarine. We must find out what's going on. Uh, yes. Elise, I was wondering. And please don't get angry with me. Out with it, Rosmarine. I was looking around and I found an old blanket for Flock. What blanket? Uh... The one you had tucked away in the pantry? Oh, that's fine. I was gonna use it as a dust rag anyhow. You thought I'd be mad about that? Oh, I didn't mean... You live here now, Rosmarine. You're so fond of that goat, too. There's not much I can do about it, even if I wanted to. Oh, Elise! It's not that big a deal, for goodness sake. Angel! Angel Ohati, how have you been? I hope that you've been getting some good rest and that you've been okay. Big love to you. Can I get some hearts in the chat for Angel, please? He recently retired for health reasons. And he's always worked so hard, so... I've been very worried. Don't you think that Freya's jealous of those two together? I think Freya... I don't think Freya's the jealous type. Honestly, I could see Lev Kuhan being the jealous type. Since she's so close to... to Elise, but I feel like Freya's the type who would... just be really, really happy for Elise. And maybe be a little, like, envious and, like, longing. But, like, not in, like, a... not in, like, a bitter kind of way. Like, I, I feel like she couldn't be mad about it. Mr. Eugen's horses got stolen! What?! Uh-oh. This is ought to... This ought to raise suspicion a little bit. What? Is this true, Mrs. Muriel? I'm not a liar, Elise! Yes, I'm afraid it's true. Everyone's acting strange, Elise. That's natural, my dear. This isn't something to take lightly. I even heard some folks say that they were hag-ridden! Hag-ridden? You shouldn't spread such nonsense about town, Groon. But old Jokin gets to the... Jokin, oh, I need to get used to saying that instead of Jokin. But old Jokin said the horses were stolen by the witch! But old Jokin is an old geyser! Oh, for goodness sake! The poor lad couldn't be more heartbroken. For good reason. Go on now. I'm looking after the children for the time being. Oh. That is very concerning. Yeah, how has Angel been? Oh! It's my girlfriend. Ah! Uh, Elise! Rosenmarine! Good morning, Freya. Love Kuhan? You've heard, I'm assuming? About Mr. Eugen's horses? Oh, it's been awful. Everyone's been on edge. Folks don't know what to do with themselves. For good reason, I'd say, but... Mr. Eugen was so invested in his business, too. Old Jockin's foolery isn't helping anyone, I can already tell. They were hag-ridden. Something tells me you know what that means. Oh my gosh, see, Lev Kuhan is sussy... sussy of Rosenmarine. Lev Kuhan! Uh, of course, it's when... Oh, she wouldn't know, Lev Kuhan. I'm saved! Thank the gods for Freya. I suppose not. What a way to start the day. I think I'll take a look about town. Better be careful, Elise. Folks are getting rather nervous about this. I get it, Leb Kuhen. I'll be careful not to rile them up. Oh 
boy. Rosamarine, how could you be so clueless? Huh? Can I... Oh, I thought it was letting me pet the cat. A grindstone. Oh, I wouldn't know about that, Dorothy. Uh, there you are, you two. We can always ask Scalise, Brunhilda. Ask me about what, Mrs. Dorothy? Oh, but before we do, have you heard, Elise? About Mr. Eugen's horses? I know. Oh, the poor lad. I think my father's name is compromised, too. Mr. Bernard's? Someone put one of the horse's saddles on one of my father's pigs, Elise. It's a sick joke, that's what it is. Sounds like it from what I'm hearing. Oh, Elise. You're leaving Kieferberg, aren't you? Maybe one day, Mrs. Brunhilda, but... Are you? We've been discussing the idea, as a matter of fact. Oh, how could this happen to us? Oh... Everyone's freaking out. I mean, unless the cat is a grindstone as well. I wouldn't want to grind things on a cat. Taking Eugen's horses was too cruel. I wonder who could do such a thing. The poor lad was just getting his business started, too. Hard to believe he'd provoked any kind of ill will. I doubt any of our townsfolk could do such a thing. I agree, Heinrich. I've heard Lisbeth's goats aren't doing so well, either. All right, well, we'll go have a look. Keep calm when it comes to old Joachim, Elise. He's very much convinced this was the witch's doing. Just what we need, is, isn't it? Come, Rosmarine. Let's go to the stables. Uh, good day. Oh, boy. Ought to let them know, aren't we, Mardlin? Is this about the horses? It goes further than that, Elise. Whoever took Eugen's horses broke into the pigsty. Took our pig, saddled him like a horse, and locked him in the stables. Can you believe such a thing, Elise? A vile prank, that's what it is. I need folks to know Bernard had nothing to do with this. All of Kieferberg knows you would never do such a thing, Marlene. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that. We'll see where this takes us, I suppose. Thank you, lass. What in the Lord's name is going on? Oh, boy. Was it... Was it this way? No, no, no. Though The well is that way. The fields are this way. The pigs and the horses! Poor animals. Also, hi, Wolfgang. How you doing? Cats do kind of grind things with their claws like furniture. This is true! And they also grind people as well. I know this from personal experience. <laughs> Hello, Lucas. Welcome in. There you are, you two. You're not looking so cheerful, Mrs. Lisbeth. Oh, it's difficult to stay cheerful with all these goings on. It's so unfortunate. You have to wonder who'd do such a thing. It can't have been easy, that's for certain. Now Lisbeth's goats are feeling ill, too. Oh, Ariane, I'm at such a loss. Feeling ill, Mrs. Lisbeth? The milk's giving off this foul smell since yesterday. Their eyes are looking glossy, too. I don't know what to think of it. The only one who could lend me a hand is Eugen, but... You wouldn't want to trouble him, I see. It'll be fine, my dear. We'll have a word with Father Hans, all right? Oh, boy. Help your cats do minimal grinding of you. My cat does, the old man cat. But, uh, the, the small blind cat. My housemate's cat. He, uh, I may have some wounds on my hand right now because of him. <laughs> you two have heard, I'm sure. We have. Though we're trying to figure out what happened. I'm ruined. That's what happened. <sighs> As I said before, Eugen, we will do all we can to help. We'll gather the lad and send them out to patrol the outskirts. Hmm. Are we absolutely certain they were stolen? Hmm. About that, Elise. Those horses were hag-ridden, I tell you. Not this nonsense again. I tell you, lad, there's a witch in Kieferberg. You mention it. It's still a sad day for Mr. Eugen, old Yakin. This isn't the time. 
I'll ask you not to try folks' patience, old Yakin. Oh. Cool, I guess I chose a good thing. Yeah, I don't want to be... ...too... ...apprehensive. How many runs have you played? Yeah, this is like... Um... This is my very, very first run through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, some of these things are new to me as well, even though I did voice acting for the game. Can I do the shocked face again? <gasps> Why would you want me to do a shocked face like this? Why? That's too cruel. No, I have... yeah. <laughs> I'll try to see if I can set up some extra expressions for future streams as well. Witch or no witch, folks. Someone had to do it. No two ways about it. Ah, Lucas, thank you. Welcome to the Phoebe Hive. Without so much as a trot or a neigh. Yeah, what the heck? Wouldn't, wouldn't they have, like, heard? If the horses were being, like, noisy? As they were being let out? All there was when I got here in this morning was Bernard's pig in a saddle. Don't rope me into this, lad. I already told you, I had nothing to do with it. Who am I to blame then? The witch? Let's keep calm now, folks. Oh boy. Poor you, Jen. Can't fault the poor lad for it, can we, folks? Finn, Guido, and I will take a look around the outskirts. I'll go with you, Gustav. And we should ask you, Jen, if you'd like to join us too. You know, I... Is there any way we can help, Mr. Gustav? Keep folks calm, Elise, and go about your day as you normally would. Leave it to us, lads. We'll get to the bottom of this. Ah, uh, Freya's dad is so nice. I mean, my papa is so kind. Folks truly are on edge today. Got to be careful with what I say about town. Yeah, unlike Roz and Marine, she was being all sussy already this morning. Ah. Uh? Love your acting. I tried to convince her to pick Freya. Unfortunately, they all followed Lep Kuhan. Next time, I hope that they're able to pick Freya for their next time. You know, their next run through. But, uh, thank you for trying to convince them to choose Freya. Let's see, we do need some... Wow! <laughs> I love the music when you're, when you're hungry. Honestly, that's how the world becomes when I get hungry as well. Eat the love cool head. Ba -da -ba. Oh, please do let me know how you like the Freya endings. Um, let's go this way, I suppose. Roz and Marine really being the type of person right now who get voted out in Among Us even though she isn't the imposter. She really would! <gasps> Hello? It's Mubby! It's Muppet! Hello? Wait, she's back here. I know she is. Hello? Why won't it let me talk to her? <laughs> Excuse me? Honestly, the Bad Freya ending is so sad. I got to do a lot of screaming and crying for that. That was a... Uh, I definitely freaked out my housemates when I had to record that. <laughs> She's here! But why can't I talk to her? Hello? Hmm... Come on, Miggy. Ah, uh, Elise. Do you know any other ways to tell, I wonder? Tell what, Mrs. Brunhilda? Whether she's having a boy or a girl, Elise. She's been keen on finding out. A little too keen, to be honest. You're making too much of it, Ariane. It's harmless fun, that's all. I did it too when I was expecting Apfel. I can't say fortune-telling is ever a good way to pass one's time. Oh, there she is! Oh, I would never! Would it count as fortune-telling, Mrs. Ariane? How doesn't it, Elise? Oh, that reminds me. Dorothy's done it just recently. Said the water turned out clear, which would mean it's a boy. You children don't know when to stay put. The water? Okay, I will definitely come back to Mubby, but first, I have to go buy some... buy some treats. 
actually do I have? I only have bread. I forget what she wanted. Ah, there you are, Elise. Goodness gracious, Odili. Mrs. Odili insists the horses were hag-ridden, Elise. We've been trying to bring her to reason, but... What reason, lass? Give it a rest, Odili. Old Yakin's beyond reasoning with. Everyone can see that but you. Hmm. Do you think this is what Mr. Yuja needs right now? Oh, the poor lad. This isn't about the lad, Elise. Only it is, Odili. We ought to respect the lad's feelings here. It's his loss at the end of the day. There's nothing we can do, truth be told. We just have to hope the lads find something. You'll all be regret being so ho you'll all regret being so hopeless uh careless. It's either grape juice or pretzel. Will I have? Mmm. I have a grape juice. Let me go buy a pretzel real quick. You wanna hear me do the innkeeper? I can definitely I did it last time. Um Do I have the money for a pretzel right now, though? I think I need to do a job first. Hi, Freya. You don't bake very often, do you, Elise? I don't know. It's such a hassle, and Lemakuhin's right there, too. Oh, I suppose she is. She's so talented, too. Truly talented, I agree! An angel, isn't she? Uh, truly. Uh, Elise, what about me? What about my baking? Please call me an angel. She's not the one I'm meeting this afternoon, though, is she? Huh? I'll drop by, Freya, like we talked yesterday. Oh, yes, all right. All right. <sighs> Elise never forgets me. I see if I have money for a pretzel. How much do I have? Oh, zero money. <laughs> ah. Oh, God, I'm, there's no way I'm playing Kiss the Rat. I'm gonna help Elmo with the apples. Um, yes, Muffy, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, that's Kiss the Rat. Mm. Hi, Luca, how you doing? Hmm, over here? Or maybe, actually, the map probably shows it, huh? Okay, yeah, it was back at the village entrance. Okay... Yeah, once I have money, then I'll go to the inn and I'll give... I'll give voice acting the innkeeper a try. Oh my gosh, Mubby! Out with it! You speedrun the game in two hours. What? Were you like trying to break a record for speedrunning or something? Or. Ah, <laughs> oh, take care, Matt. Take care. Kiss the Rat and Woodcutting Game are the bane of your existence. Kiss the Rat is the worst. Um, I most like the, the chicken game. Okay, I think this is the apples. Ah, uh, I was starting to worry, Elise. Over what, Mrs. Elma? Freya isn't available right now, so you'll have to do. I have... Wow. Kinda... You'll have to do? The burn, though. The chicken one is your least favorite. Oh, really? <laughs> I'll show you how much of a chicken master I am. When I'm able to. <gasps> Athesis, thank you so much for the coffee subscription! I do plan on getting back to posting, uh... Posting a uh, weekly on there soon. Um. Uh, all right, I suppose. 
I'm not certain Freya could do a better job than me, though. Oh, have you never seen her working before? A riveting experience, I'm certain. Fine, I'll ask for Rosmarine's help. Rika! Chicken game is the worst! <gasps> I'll show you the pro strats, don't worry. The key is to look at... Look at, um... What the chickens are doing. Instead of looking at what eggs are free. Kiss the rat! Kiss the rat so hard! Yes, I love the arcade cabinet setup. It's so cute. And the music is a banger. Go! By the way... Special news for you guys. I am... Working with... Oka... One of the main composers for the, the game soundtrack... On a Freya character song. So please look forward to that. It has been confirmed. Freya spin-off when? I mean, if you guys want something like that... Definitely let the devs at Astral Shift know. on this one yet, though. Aha! Uh -huh. I did it! I can't do it like Diana can. <laughs> oh, that's great, Elise. Here you go, for your hard work. Thank you, Mrs. Oma. Yay! I get to meet Freya now! Suspicion up! <laughs> but... But... Oh, man! Man... How am I gonna know what kind of food Muffy wants the next day? Is it worth loading a save? I don't know. Time to meet our girlfriend. I wonder what's going on today. Hi. There she is. I love how Freya's house is so perfect for her. I'll spend some time with her. Yeah, let's spend some time together, Elise. Elise! There you are! <laughs> You're loitering about home, are you, Freya? <laughs> Nothing of the sort. In fact, I've been rather busy. You did say you'd be at home all afternoon. I was going to get a head start on the festival preparations, but... I couldn't bear seeing all of Kieferberg on edge like this. More than on edge, Freya! The townsfolk are rabid! Oh, Elise... <laughs> <laughs> all this witch nonsense is only making things worse, too. That's why we ought to bring some cheer ourselves, Elise. Hmm... Um, Esoteric, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Phoebe Hive. Hmm... Yeah, how can we bring cheer to the village? For goodness sake... You know better than to waste your cheer on these folks, Freya. I know. But... Don't say that, Elise. Yeah, don't... What? That's so mean! <laughs> I've been baking pies for everyone all afternoon. 
That's... so many... <laughs> I may have gotten carried away a little. A little, you say? It was a good excuse to try out my mother's recipes. Your mother's recipes? Ah, uh, yes. She used to keep a lot of journals. Oh, it's wonderful. For sewing and baking, for making ointments, anything you can think of. I see. So that's how you know, to, how, know how to do all of that. After all, I was too young to learn from her in person. Freya. Aw. Uh, poor Freya. Before I forget... Grape pie, was it? <gasps> Is that Elise's favorite? Oh, I bet she baked Elise a whole pie just for herself. In her favorite flavor. You know, she does have grapes on her apron after all. Uh-huh. Just for you. <sighs> wow, what a cute Tijiwa! Get booped on the nose. Get booped. Get booped. I boop, please. Boop. 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 Your favorite, silly. It was grape pie, wasn't it? Now that you mention it. Uh, I suppose. Make sure you share it with Roz and Marine, all right? Hey. You baked me an entire pie for you? I'm doing it for all of Kieferberg. I couldn't forget about you, could I? <sighs> oh, does Elise want to be the only one? <laughs> I know, but... I remember what you said about me showering you with gifts, but... Mm. You're truly... <laughs> trying to show you how I feel, Elise. <laughs> and I'll tell Molly about these pies. Or Mubby, Muffet, Moffet, Max, ugh. <laughs> Elise! For goodness sake. I truly did listen to what you said to me on Sunday, Elise. And everything I've said and done since then, I've meant it, so... I'm well aware, Freya. Oh, right. Say... I'll be lending Mrs. Wilma a hand by the inn tomorrow at dusk. All right, all right. I'll be there. Oh, Elise. You could be a little more genuine, Elise. For goodness sake. You could be a little less cheeky, Freya. <laughs> oh, but it's so much fun getting you all flustered, Elise. <laughs> Why, you... <laughs> They're so cute! This Rivals to Lovers! Rivals to Lovers arc is just... It's got a death grip on my heart right now. It really does. Oh, Elise. It's so fun to tease you. Now kiss! Now kiss! Hmm. Seems like they're back from looking for horses, but... Horseshoes scattered about, you say. Found them just past the logging grounds, but... Why in the Lord's name would anyone remove horseshoes? I wouldn't want to lend weight to old Yakin's nonsense, but... Wake up, lads! They were hag-ridden, I tell you! This isn't the time, old Yakin. We must keep calm. Thank you for your time today, lads. I'll be moving along now. I've had enough of wandering about. Mm. Mm. I've never seen him so disheartened, I must say. To think you lads didn't even find a trace. We looked everywhere, Mrs. Marlin. The peaks, the lake. Heinrich and Tristan even followed the path to Primaldorf. Mm. We ought to give it another try, first thing. 
I... I found it! I found it! Th found what? The horse? I found the horse! It's right out outside! What are you saying, Maggie? <laughs> no one gets her name right! Nobody in the village! I it's the truth! It's lying on the ground! Is it alive? Take us to it, Lassie. Mop it. You better not be lying. I like how all the love interests tease Elise in some sort of way. Love Kuhana and even Rosamarine have their moments, right? <laughs> like... You'd expect Elise to be the dominant one, but honestly... She'd probably only be the top in her relationship with Roz. You know? She's a Sun Ojo. She is. Mm -hmm -hmm. She's both. My word. Oh, the poor thing. Oh, it's breathing, though. It's breathing, but it's kind of... That's not good. Oh, my God. Good grief. It's nearly dead. What do you make of it, Eugen? He's exhausted. I'd say he ran here by the looks of it. No, that can't be. We've only just made it back. We would have found him or heard him or... I must say I'm at a loss, lads. They were hag-ridden. No two ways about it. Look at it. Gasping for breath. Ill. Look at its eyes. I mean, that could be a number of things, but... Keep calm, old Jokin. You think you can nurse him back to health, Eugen? I'm taking him back to the stables right now. I'll lend a hand, Eugen. You fools ought not to touch that horse. Lord knows what the witch has done to it. Come now, lads. Let's go fetch him some water. Gosh darn it, Yakin! You're not helping! He must have broken free from wherever he was being kept, I suppose. Broke off the reins and ran back to Kieferberg. I can't think of... Nonsense, Bernard. I'll have it said right here, right now, folks. Why is he pointing at me? I was doing work in the town, and so was Rosenmarine. It's best you show some restraint, old Yakin. This isn't... Old Stefan warned us about this. Oh, not this old Stefan nonsense again, you old fool. We need to keep calm, folks. Arguing about this won't. Have you no memory of his words, Hans? Gustav? He spoke of the ill fortune we'd have. Of the witch! Of folks' livelihood slipping through their fingers. Old Stefan was a tormented lad on his deathbed, old Jochen. At what point do you start getting called old, I wonder? Like, when are we gonna start saying, like... Uh, old Wilma or something like that, you know? What are we to do with him, father? Or like, old Gustav. At what point? Just wait for him to tire himself out. That's all we can do. Come, folks. Let's head back to town. For them, like, 40. Eh? <laughs> That's like... Not old. Pretty sure my parents are in their 40s. Things are starting to get a little out of hand, aren't they? All these talks of witches keep on reminding me of the Monty Python skit. Ah, I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm gonna go buy some stuff at the inn and at the bakery. Hi, Code. How you doing? Ah, take care, Carnivora, and best of luck at work tomorrow. Oh yeah, Sudi. Hmm. Mm, okay, we're gonna get some bread tonight. Well, let's focus on... Oh, well, I need to know what Muffy wants first. Yeah, that's true. We don't have to add anything to Old Ely's name. Okay, where can I find Muppet? You mean magenta? Oh, you're right. You're right. I mean Molly. 
Yeah, Muppet wants attention. Where is she, though? You already missed it, so need no need to ask her. Just need to wait for the next order. Ah, uh, I see. Luffy? The One Piece! The One Piece is real! I get so lonely all by myself in this inn. Oh, I'm sorry you're lonely, Miss Welma. I don't, I don't know what to do about that. A roast turkey! So what are you buying today? Um... I definitely need... Wow, spiced worst. Uh, let's get some ointment. Bandages. Are you sure that's all, sweetheart? Uh, I'm selling. I think I have some things to sell now. I need a Velma route. I don't know, maybe she's a lot older than you guys think. But she is very lonely. Um... I think I don't need these for anything. Can I just sell these? Leather purse. La 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 leather purse, la la leather purse. You sound like Rika from Higurashi. Oh, thank you? <laughs> Rika's cute. Dun. Are you sure that's all, sweetheart? Mm. Could I have a kiss? A smoochum? A little peck? It's king, you can't buy those things. Mm. I'll get one more grape juice. And I guess the rest of it will be food? Goodbye, Miss Welma. I mean, maybe Welma's younger than you think. Hmm. You're right. Also, hi, Kyo. How you doing? Higgins says, implying we don't love milfs in this chat. I mean, <laughs> I just don't know about Freya. You know? Not Freya. Sorry, sorry, Elise. Hmm. <laughs> Got milf? I mean milk. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm trying to go to the map. Yeah. Um. I could help Linda with the apples again. Guess I'm doing more apple work. I do love myself some girls' love. She's a miss and not a missus, so it's possible. True, so at the very least, she's not married, which is surprising. Though I guess there's not really any single guys in this town, except maybe you, Jen. Feeling the pressure, Miss Linda? Aren't we all? I hate to ask, but could you fetch me some out? Oh, hold on, hold on. Um... Let us replenish. I was told Elise, Freya, Lip Kuhan, and Rosmarine... Oh, sorry, not Rosmarine! Rosenmarine! <laughs> Great, now Elise is going, getting me calling her Rosmarine, too. Um, are all 19. Yes, that is correct. And they certainly feel that way, huh? Mmm... I don't know, Miss Wilma feels like she's in her 30s, maybe? But who knows in this day and age? Who knows? Okay. I'm gonna buy a Lebkuchen. And a... Oh, I can't afford a pretzel. Mmm... See you, Granny. 19, they look significantly younger than 16 in Pocket Mirror. I mean, they're... But, um, Elise, Freya, Lebkuhen, and Rosin Marine aren't in Pocket Mirror. 
And who knows, maybe the protag in Pocket Mirror is like... I get the feeling she's like younger, you know, like... 16, maybe? To me, Freya and them... Um, look like they're about 19 here. Mm. Eat the love, Kuhen. Okay, no kiss the rat! He keeps saying Wilma, all I can think of is Fred Flintstone's wife. <laughs> wow, the Flintstones... I don't think I've ever actually watched the Flintstones before, but I know about Flintstones' vitamins. Well, Lise is in Pocket Mirror in one of the endings, I think. She dead, though. Um. Yes. Gonna fetch some apples. And let's use Ro Rosin Marine's help. Stop talking about rats. What's wrong with rats? There's a whole app that tracks rats in the in the New York City area, apparently. There's also a whole app that tracks where poop is in the San Francisco area. Stone halation! <laughs> Hi, let's try to get a let's try to get an S this time. We go. Go! Stone halation. <laughs> Where? Where are these? <laughs> Where are these anvils coming from? What kind of sadistic squirrels are throwing anvils at me from the trees? Get back to helping with the chickens again sometime soon. <laughs> Sugar, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Phoebe Hive. No S rank, kiss the rat. Uh, I hope I can A rank it sometime. <laughs> oh, where do you get all that energy from? It's not that big a deal, Mrs. Linda. Thank you for your time, Elise. Make certain you get a proper rest tonight, you hear? Of course, Mrs. Linda. Thank you. Hooray! Now we have money to buy some more food so we don't die. Usually on PS5, I get an A or a B. On Kiss the Rat? On PC, I get an S. It's so confusing. I do wonder if some of these games are easier with, like, a controller instead. Elise! Oh, what does this old hag want now? <laughs> she just thinks of everybody as old hags. Where do you think you're going, Elise? Huh? I need to have a word with you. What's this about, Mrs. Bertha? Your cousin, that's what this is about, Elise. The lass has been wandering about town, you know? She's been helping me out, Mrs. Bertha. No, I don't think so, Elise. Your cousin's been telling folks there's no thief in Kieferberg. Well... I mean... So has old Yuck. <laughs> That's true. He's been insisting on the hag writing, isn't he? Old Yakin is one thing, but your cousin has no right to be spreading such nonsense, Elise. Alright, I can have a word with her, I suppose. 
But she did work with me. She worked with me every time. She worked with me on both jobs. <laughs> Roz and Maureen, why you have to be so sussy? Darn it. Okay, it's time for some more... Some more treats. Oops. What's ya buying? What's ya selling? Okay. Two of those. One of these. See you, Granny. I just realized that romancing Ros and Mar Rosmarine is romancing your cousin to others. Yup! <laughs> sweet home, Kieferberg. It's not sweet home, Alabama anymore. It's sweet home, Kieferberg. <laughs> ah, hi, Captain Kraft. How are you? You rebranded? Eh? I thought you'd never come by, Elise. Oh, spare me. Here's your bread, Elise. You must keep yourself fed. Thanks. You too, Lepkuhen. You're looking just as tired as I am. Can you tell? You're not as mysterious as you think you are. <laughs> now that's better. Move along, Elise. It's best we had to bed early tonight. Oh, Lord knows I can use some good sleep. You know we're not gonna get good sleep tonight. How is he to know when you hardly ever pray, Elise? It's not as though he makes for good conversation, so why bother? <laughs> She's not a very good nun, is she? <laughs> good night, love, Kuhan. Good night, Elise. She's so... She does look very mysterious swinging on the swing in the moonlight like that, though. It's not incest if we're not... <laughs> Well, I mean, to other people. Well, though, I guess she wouldn't be... Huh? What in the Lord's name? Eh? That's Mr. Eugens! You've come. You've come. <laughs> this crow! It's speaking to me! You're wearing them. You're wearing them! John, no, thank you for the bits. Shiny. Shiny! Good night, Takusama! Also, good night, Cosmo Aura! Oyasubi! Thank you so much for being here! Hope you get to watch the rest of the VOD! What's the meaning of this? Ah, uh, hi, Cyclone! How you doing? The Hex! The Hex! You're the bearer of the Hex! Hex? What Hex? The Hex! The Hex? You've heard of it. You're wearing it as you speak. Oh! The shoes? <laughs> Stay away! Show it to me. Show it to me. I have nothing to show you! Go away! Why, yes you do. Your desire. Your fervent greed. Your boundless hunger for glory. Show it to us. Show it to us. Shoot, crows! Shoot them away! Kick them! Oh! Huh? What's happened? Oh, thank you, Cyclone! Did they poke my eye? My eye! What have you done to my eye? Show it to us. Show it to us. Out with it! You wretch! Huh? Now she's got the shutting gun. <laughs> a testament to your tender flesh is awaiting you in my grove. A testament? Our grove. Our grove. Wait! You! I'm awaiting you, Elise, in my ceramic grove of wheat. Ceramic? A testament? Anyhow, I ought to let Mr. Eugen know about this horse. 
Oh, shoot. Well, best of luck with your comic. Ah, oh, great. Can we go in here? I get the feeling that's where, um... Muppet lives. Okay. Let's save here. Oh boy. Is it gonna be like a who smelt it, dealt it kind of situation? Like, since I was caught with the body, they're gonna think that I did it? Oh man. <sighs> Mr. Eugen! <sighs> Good lord, Elise! What's got you in such a hurry? There's a horse! In the crossroads! Are you certain, Elise? Yes! Yes, I'm certain! The lass says she found your horse, Eugen. Take me there, lass. I'll go fetch the others. But it's dead, Mr. Eugen! It matters not, lass. Take me there. Oh no, it's a self-report! They're gonna eject us! No. Oh. The whole town came out? What in the Lord's name? It... It was right here! I swear! Oh, great! They're gonna really suspect us now! Ah, oh, great! Good Lord, Elise! Would you tell us what you saw, Elise? Wait! There were crows! And the horse was... Are you certain this is where you saw it? Yes! I am! You're tired, Elise. I'm certain this was just... There's only one answer to this, folks. You're lying, Elise. Oh, Why would I do that? Like, honestly... What would the motivation behind Elise lying here be? To make people more sussy of her? I'm not lying, you old fool! If you'd let me explain, I could tell you... You said the horse was dead, Elise. And it was! How could a dead horse trot away, would you say? It's no use trying to reason with her, Tristan. She's lying. Oh, Elise. Of all things to lie about. And what is it about these crows? Wait! It's the truth! I've had enough. I'll be in the stables. Well, like, seriously, why should she- why would she have called everybody out here? Why would she have lied? Tell us, Elise. Are you speaking the truth? <sighs> I mean... It makes... If I was here, I would insist that what I saw was really what I saw. Yeah, exactly. Why would anybody lie about this? <sighs> but... If she's too pushy about it... Maybe they'll suspect her more? Uh... I do like this that this game doesn't make it so easy to choose the right choices, you know? So... Yet... Yeah, I'm not certain. I could have sworn. What do you mean you're not certain, you? I'm simply not, old Yakin. I may be too tired. It's. I can accept that, Elise. But I can't, Gustav. She still has to explain the crows. Ah. Uh... I think I saw what I saw. I won't deny what any of what I said. Please. I'm just shocked to see there's nothing here. I... Uh... Truly, I wouldn't lie about such a thing. You think you've got us fooled, huh? <sighs> you shouldn't make such accusations. It's best we... Can't you folks see she's trying to deceive us? You know something, Elise. What? 
I don't know what it is, but I'll have it said, Lassie. You can dance with the devil all you want, but you won't. That's ridiculous. That's enough. We've all had a difficult day today, folks. We're all exhausted, drained, and on edge. Are we not? You tell them, Webb. You tell them. Why are you trying to defend your my what? Girlfriend? No, Leb Kuhan's quite right, old, jo old Yakin. Let us turn in for the night. We can come back to this tomorrow. I'd like to have a word with you, Gustav. You too, Leb Kuhan. No need, Father. I trust Leb Kuhan's judgment. Yet I don't. I see. I'll go with you, Father. You're going home, Elise, and you should think long and hard about what you've done. She really thought so, though. He was really there. Gosh. It makes littler sense for her to be lying about that just to get everybody out there. Hi, I don't know. How are you? I have missed you a lot. I'm actually double streaming this on YouTube and on Twitch at the same time right now. Mm hmm. Oh, thank you. There's still a lot more work that's to be done. And a lot further, I want to go with my dreams and my career as an idol and as a voice actress, but I'll keep doing my very best and working my hardest, so thank you for cheering me on all the time, you guys. That was dangerous. I'm worried about Leb Kuhan, but I ought to go home and tell Rosmarine about what I just saw. Leb Kuhan's a strong girl. She can handle it. She's a big girl. Ah, <sighs> yeah, everybody hates Yawkin. Leb is so faithful, feeds us with daily bread and vouchers for us. Indeed! She is truly the bro. I'm sure Yawkin means well, but he's also the kind of fella that seems too superstitious. Not that it's incorrect given what we've seen, but still. I mean, he is right that we're hiding something. <laughs> he's not wrong, but he was wrong about us lying about the horses. Everybody's wrong about the wrong things. And right about the wrong things. And right about the wrong things? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, thank you, John Nook. Time to report to Roz. Hello. Oh. Poor Elise. Elise! If she felt isolated before, she probably feels even worse now. This is just gonna push her even more to like do all these trials and sacrifice her girlfriend. This is bad. This is very bad. Had it not been for Leb Kuhan, those folks would have. You would have found out about everything. About the woods. About what I did. That's right. I best get to that crow's grove. The Testament. They have the tender flesh. I should... Elise! Rose and Marine? Are you right, Elise? Oh boy. I don't know where to start, Rosmarine. So tired. Huh? It's this... This rotten pigsty of a town! Elise... Can you be friendly with Muffy and sack her... No, no sacrificing a Muffy. <laughs> Cause I could never get that that buddy buddy with Muff Muffy. Or sorry, who's Muffy? You mean Muppet? I saw one of Mr. Eugen's horses on the way home, Rosmarine. It was dead, but it was riddled with crows and I'm sorry, I I don't understand, Elise. You should tell I did! You know I... More importantly, Rosmarine. There was a golden crow. He said he's got a testament. <laughs> oh, Elise! A testament! Suddenly she's happy despite the fact that we just found a dead horse? Uh... I'm... This is too much for me, Rosmarine. Uh, but... What else did he say, Elise? Uh... I'm so tired. Huh? I ran back to town to tell everyone about the horse and they... Uh... They humiliated me, Rosmarine. 
Each and every day, I'm treated as though I'm some wretch. No matter what I do or say, I'm always... Always... This wish of mine, Rosmarine. Can I truly trust him to grant it? Yes. If you devote yourself to him and do his bidding... You're already aware of the sacrifices you'll have to make, but it's... I would sacrifice all of Kieferberg if I had to, Rosmarine. Oh. Even Freya and Leb Kuhan? And Gustav? They love you, though. That's a... Oh. I can't stay another day in this town. I have no choice but to find him. Oh, but I... Take me with you, Elise. Huh? You're going there again tonight, aren't you? To the woods? Mm. All right. I, uh... I'll let you know when I'm ready. Yeah, not girlfriend Freya or himbo dad-in-law. You can't. I know she's just... I know she's just riled up right now, you know? Oh, wait. I forgot to get my bread from the village. From Lib Cool Hen. Or did I? Meatloaf, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Phoebe Hive. And I hope you have a comfy time. Will it be late? I don't know. Hmm. Hi, welcome in, you guys. Hmm. Ah, take care, Code. Oh, yes, Abby. Oh, man. Ah. Uh, you did get two pieces of bread from Love Kuhan, but from the store. No, that's. That's not what I wanted. Ugh. I wanted the free bread. Yeah, I don't think she realizes the weight of those words. That kind of hurt my feelings when she said that, actually. Hey, I, I think you got the bread from Lab already. Did I? I think I bought them, though. Oh, I did get it from Lab. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Lab. Okay, I guess we're taking Rosamarine with us tonight. Elise. Do you look nervous? Mm. That's because I am Rosamarine. I'm sorry, I... <sighs> we can talk about it and I, I can try and... No, it's alright. I don't want to think about it. Let's go, Rosmarine. Uh, yes. Well, at least we won't be alone in the spooky place tonight. You sure this is Rosmarine? She look Rosmarine. She looks sussy. I mean, Rosmarine is always sussy, to be honest. Keep close to me, Rosmarine. Lord knows what we're gonna find. Oh, I... You still haven't told me about last evening's. Right. Whatever happens, Rosmarine, promise you'll keep close to me. Come. Let's go. Not even gonna answer her questions, okay. Rosmarine, I... Maybe it's best you stay home. I can, but... This is dangerous, Rosmarine. That crow attacked me earlier, and I... All the more reason for me to go with you, wouldn't you say? I'm serious, Rosmarine. So am I, Elise. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. But promise me... ...that I'll keep close to you. I know. For goodness sake. For goodness sake! <laughs> yeah, it hurts to hear Elise say that, but I sort of get it. When you feel like everyone is against you, sometimes you forget about the people who care about you. That is true. That's very, very true. She was just speaking out of, like... Mm, out of frustration. 
When things are heated, sometimes you say things you don't mean. So I can forgive that. The crow gave you a glow up, what do you mean? Why, because I have the shedding gun now? <laughs> date time, spooky date time. Yeah, don't people take their dates to like haunted mansions and stuff sometimes? Hi, Waffle! Hehe! <laughs> Good to see you, Waffle! I still want to voice act with you in something one day, Waffle. This is where it happened, Rosmarine. She's on the road where it happened. Elise! Look! Oh my god! Those are... Horseshoes! There are so many, too. These weren't here earlier, Rosmarine. It doesn't make any sense! There are feathers scattered about, too. Are these from the crows you said you saw? I don't know what to make of this, Rosmarine. Come, Elise. We have no choice but to see for ourselves. I still wish that they did a recording of her saying Rosamarine's name wrong. Because it throws me off <laughs> when the text doesn't match with, like, the voice. Rosmarine? Rosmarine! Gosh, where'd she go? Why'd she... Why'd she run ahead? Why'd she like this? Always going and doing stuff by herself. Making people sussy of her. Silly lass. She must have wandered in all by herself. Rose and Marine. Ah. Uh, okay, never mind. We're, we are alone in this. No one on our side. Honestly, I think she might be braver than Elise, to be honest. Ah, uh, too suspicion. After all the work I did with spending all my bread oh on Rosmarine. Oh. oh man, I ate the mushrooms <laughs> instead of the bread. I'm a fool. Ah. Uh. On a Tuesday night. Unnay desu yo, Elise. Yeah, I just ate them because they're yummy. I'm hoping they will make me taller, you know, like Mario. Rosemarine! Rosemarine! Where in the Lord's name did she go? I'd best carry on, I suppose. There's no going back. Oh, it's not letting me run. Wowie zowie. Yeah, the music is so good. Pleasant surprise, pleasant surprise. How pleasant it is to see you here, lass. I thought you were the ones that invited me, Crow. Not every lass who gets the... Not every lass who gets these shoes winds up here. There have been others? You're not special. You're not special. Oh, thanks. I get told that all the time. Oh. Oh, there you are! Why did you run ahead? Why? For goodness sake. What were you thinking wandering off like that, you? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. You best be sorry. What did she do? She ran ahead into this dangerous place when I told her to stay with me. I told you to stay close to me. <laughs> I got a little distracted is all. This isn't the time or place to get distracted, Rosmarine. We don't know what could be in these woods. Oh. Uh, are you good? <laughs> oh no, she's looking at me like Flock was looking at me. I had a feeling she was a little bit sussy. Hi, Captain Cube, how are you? Hope you've been well. Hurry it up! Come.
calm now. We can't just sit around all night. Oh, boy. This is such a bizarre place. It's so different from last night, too. Their influence is rather noticeable, isn't it? Whose influence? His? Uh, of course. Who else? I suppose... Oh, there's weird portals and stuff. Oh, it pushes me... pushes me away. Oh, boy. See, I would say... I would say she's possessed, but she was just talking normally like herself for those first two lines. What's this? Ring of... I cannot read. They do not teach reading in this village. A ring? That's that crow's. What did you say, Rosmarine? Oh! Oh, shoot. My eye! You've come, you've come. <gasps> oh, see, she's being, she's being herself right now. Look who it is, look who it is. You've brought me such good company, too. What are you wittering on about, you wretch? Free is my good company! <laughs> You've done well in coming here, lassie. So you'd best give me what you promised, Crow. What he promised? The testament. The testament. Where is it, Crow? Come a little further into my grove, lass. Why, you little? I didn't hear about this. Show it to me. Show it to me. Why is she to show you, Crow? Rosemarine? Rosemarine? Hey! Give me back that ring, you! Show me how far those ruby shoes will take you. These shoes were built for walking. That's just what they'll do. Thank you for the follow, Golden. Feel free to join our, um, uh, our Discord if you like. And welcome to the Phoebe Hive. All that you desire, lass. It's all so close yet so far. You could at least tell me your name, Crow, if you have one. That's a secret. That's a secret. Why? You wretched bird! That doesn't answer my... Enough chatting, enough chatting. Come find me if you'd like to know more. It's gonna be never more, I'll bet. <laughs> uh, I suppose we ought to go find him. Yeah, you're acting a little off now, Rosemarine. What's gotten into you, Rosemarine? You're not yourself! What do you mean? Huh? Ah, uh, I'm confused. Oh, to hell with it! Let's go find that wretched bird. That's a really old song, Phoebes. I'm surprised you know it. Because I heard... I heard some people playing it on TV. In a movie or something. I don't think we should trust that crow. Alright! Out with it, Rosmarine! You haven't been yourself since we got here. I'm a little nervous is all. So am I, but you're... It's best we don't get distracted now. And maybe she truly is just nervous, but... She's rather cold, isn't she? Yeah, maybe she is possessed. This well is rather... That's a well? That's scary. No, don't push me in, please. She's acting all sussy. Like she's gonna push me down the well. A hatter? A mad hatter? Hello, Choco TV. Welcome in. Well, Rosamarine does get random, like, premonitions in her dreams. So maybe she... Maybe she is a witch. I don't know. Oh, wait, where do I go? If a pretty girl pushed me down a well, I would simply forgive her. Would you... be alive enough to forgive her? Oh, that's where we go. What? Ah! Ah! Oh, I don't like this. Huh? I'm trying to go to the 
ones that aren't shaking. Oh, ointment. <laughs> oh, there's the ring. Now we can go home. For goodness sake! You forgive as you're falling easy. Oh, true. You have like a split second to forgive the pretty girl. Oh, I thought we wouldn't see the end of it. Come now, Rosmarine. Let's get out of here. I'm not sure it's that easy. Huh? <laughs> no, it's nothing. Let's go. Uh... Okay. The ring of... Most people brute force it because it's kind of unstable. Oh... Finding that crow in here was going to be rather... It's a matter of following his trail, I'd say. Whichever trees don't move, that ought to lead us to him. You seem to know quite a bit about all this. Thank you for explaining the mechanics to me, Rosmarine. Ah, uh, I tend to know a great deal about things, don't I? This doesn't feel right at all. She won't even say my name. Yeah, it's not truly Rosmarine if she doesn't say, Elise! Mm. Okay, let me drink some water real quick. <sighs> yeah, Rosmarine does look very sus here. Okay. The ring of bull. Ah, I forgot to save. What is this? Yeah, it's not doing it again. I mean, I'm gonna have to go through it again. Oh man. Okay. We'll speed run the dialogues. Okay, save here. Alright, this time around. This time around. I will not make the same mistakes I did before. <laughs> Ellie! Oh, I just... Oh, I spoke too soon. Ah!
Okay, luckily we just saved. <laughs> I spoke too soon! Okay, did we go back into that forest though? We do, right? get the ring, but it's telling me to... She was like, go back in the forest or something like that. Or actually, hold on. Let me load a save. Will it let me go back home now? Oh, okay. I can go back this way. Well, see? See? I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I got the ring back. Do I go... Back up here? Oh, the far right. To the well? Wasn't there a new portal by the head of the crow? That's a good question. The head of the crow? The head of what crow? Is this new? Necessarily? Okay, I guess I'm just going back in the forest for now. Ow! Jeez! Do I see the golden crow feet? Uh... Oh, this? Ah... I see, I see. That ring we found. Would you say it could go in here, Rosmarine? She did steal it from us after all. Rather clever, isn't she? Okay, here we go. Oh, how pretty! Oh, it's got a little, like, bow-shaped gem in it. Oh. Where's the testament? Come further, lass. Come further. Oh, I've had it with you. Either tell me where to find it or get out of my sight. Hmm. It's best you don't speak to him like that. Rosen Marine? Uh-huh. All the answers you seek lie deeper within these woods, lassie. Uh. Will you give me the tender flesh, then? Meet me in the wheat field. Show me your resolution. The wheat field? Oh. Is that an elevator? Rose and Marine? Hmm. Okay. Ah. Hmm. Horse. Oh, animals. 
So it's true, so it's true. I'll never get used to you feathered rats' screeching. Be a little bit more respectful if you're dealing with demons. It's best we move along. She brought the... <gasps> eh? So... Rosamarine's been... Possessed by the witch? What are they going on about now, Rosmarine? You're in our lair, witch. You have no hand in this grove. Out with it! You've got the wrong last crows. Now let us through. <laughs> I suppose it's because of the hat? You're in our lair, the lair of Lord... Blah, 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 blah. The lair of Lord... Blah, 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 the lair of Lord... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> 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 Trying to do that in a Rosamarine voice. <laughs> do you know who that is, Rosmarine? You know him too. He's our merciful Marquis. That golden crow's name! It's best we move along now, Crow. <laughs> Speaking in tongues. I'm sorry. What for, Rosmarine? I'm aware I'm a little antsy, but this place makes me nervous, you see? My pronunciation's spot on. Thank you! I do speak in tongues every now and then. That's alright, I suppose. I'm not too pleased to be here either, but... But? I can't tell her I was hoping she'd be a little more supportive. I'm not even certain that what I was expecting by bringing her here. Is everything all right? It's best we stick together, Rosmarine. Oh, but there's a thing back here that I didn't get to explore. Over here. What? Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome in, welcome in! How was your stream and what did you guys do? We are playing through Little Goody Two Shoes right now. It is a game that I got to voice act in, in both English and in Japanese, as Freya. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follows, you guys. I appreciate it. Oh. Oh, wow. She has, like, some medieval garb on right now. How I loathe you naive sheep. Following his blissful word into this moonless hellfire of ours. What are you? We all fed his gluttony, one after the other. Our sins unearthed, made into a spectacle for all to see. Who is he? Your fate as one of us is sealed, you foolish girl. What in the Lord's name is she wittering on about? Elise has like... No critical thinking skills. She has no, like... Not even media literacy. She just... Like, do you understand? They're saying something very bad is about to happen to you. Good evening, Lyoro-san. Hachi. Do I have... Grape juice? Yes, I do. Absolutely no brain cells. Only money and girls are in her head. You know what? I can't even blame her for that. She just wants to think happy thoughts. What? Ah, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. This is my Phoebe hive. That's true. Money does corrupt. But she doesn't even have money. She just wants money. So far, all of the Golden Maidens Elise has talked about... Has met, have talked about how working a deal with him goes horribly and it flies over Elise's head. Yeah, she's like... She's like, what on earth are you talking about? Well, man, I wish I had money to grab me! <laughs> what? Ah! That's horrifying! Oh, shoot! 
Did I make it? Oh, I did. Thank goodness. Oh, to be a skeleton bird running through a wheat field. <laughs> Wait, you? He sure likes to be chased around, huh? Come now, let's go before he decides to fly away again. Oh boy. It's best we don't stay here much longer. What do you mean, Rosmarine? I don't think it's good to get too close to that crow. I suppose not. Wow, okay, well, she listens to Rosmarine at least. Hello? Hello? Must find a way to open all these. Dude, she totally spoiled the least rotten. Hmm. What is this? Something's supposed to fit in there, but what? Hello? Fancy seeing you. Oh, it's Morim. It's not. Blah, 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 blah. Fancy seeing you. Fancy seeing you. I still don't understand what you want from me, Crow. Your resolve. Your resolve. Oh, I have plenty of that. Don't provoke him. Provoke me. Provoke me. Follow your instinct, Glass. Pay no heed to this creature you've brought along. She's no creature, you wretch! Ah, standing up for your girlfriend, your girlfriend. Yet, since you insist... I've heard a few things from those birds, but... Such as, such as... Lord Morim. The Crow's Marquis, they called you. His faithful Marquis, his faithful Marquis. Would you give the parroting a rest? You're in my lair, lass. Lord Marim's ceramic grove of wheat. Ruler of all feathered creatures. Ruler of all feathered creatures. To undergo your trial, I suppose. As many have, as many have. About this trial, Crow. It's in my understanding you'll be granting me one of the testaments. The tender flesh, the tender flesh. You've given me your word. Be sure you see it through, you hear? Find me in the wheat field. In the wheat field. Wait, I still have... Ah, I got more questions for you. He's not one to sit and chat, is he? I suppose not. Come, Rosmarine. We'd best get going. Still have plenty of questions, but... I'd best keep them to myself for now. Hmm. You gotta find things to pick up and put into those little slots. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> I can see him in the corner of the screen! I don't like that! I can outrun him, surely. What's this stone slab? Ah! Ah! <sighs> there you go. A crow slate. Aha! Oh, I got another one. Mr. Ho, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Phoebe Hive. Oh. Time to find another place to put it.
Can I... Yeah, there. Okay, there's the other one right there. So I'll go up here... And... Uh, through here... Come on, Elise, you've already done this once. You know what goes in there. And then this one... Hello, Choco TV. Ah, welcome back on Twitch instead. It goes in the square hole. <laughs> oh, I need a different one. Um. Maybe. Oh no no no. Keep that there. And then... Grab that. That's right, it goes into the square hole. <laughs> Where does the slab go? That's right. It goes into the square hole. What? Oh, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Lots of love to you. Hmm. All right. Oh, Ross and Marine, where are you going? Where are you going? Why are you running ahead of me? Why do you always do this? Hello? Impressive, lass. Impressive, lass. For goodness sake. What's gotten into you, Ross and Marine? Who's Rosmarine? Who's Rosmarine? Hi, Song. How you doing? Ever since we got here, you haven't? Yeah, why are you running? Why are you running? Who's Rosmarine? Who's Rosmarine? <sighs> Wait! Rosmarine! Uh... My wits. For goodness sake! I can't even hear my own thoughts! You're just in time for the tender flesh, lass. <gasps> Tender flesh? That's... The testament, the testament. Ah! My eye! They keep doing stuff to her eye. How is she still able to see? Wait! Don't come any closer! We're rather peckish, rather peckish. <laughs> I'm telling you to stay away from me! Could eat a horse, could eat a horse. You already ate a horse. Greedy crows. Uh, I think. Uh, did, did you enjoy some? Uh, no, wait! May thy flesh serve him. May thy flesh serve him. Uh, are we dead? Oh, shoot. They really jacked us up. Oh, wait, they just pulled out my hair. Wheat Testament. Oh. What is this? Is this... the flesh? Hmm. My own hair. Part of me. My mortal body. Just like Rosmarine told me. Oh, I must find her. Lord knows what those crows did to her. 
Okay, it's safe here. That's totally her hair, right? Yeah, they could have just asked nicely. We could have pulled it out ourselves. Hey, what you doing? Oh my gosh, why is it doing that? Oh, it's making me dizzy. Oh! Oh, what is that? Oh my gosh. Rosamarine, why are you being a freak? Ah. Oh. Elise. Can you hear it? The woodland. My grove. It's aching. What are you saying, Rosmarine? Uh... Was Rosmarine... Actually sussy? Also, hi, Cappy. Welcome in. You've lost your wits the moment we got here! You mean she... hadn't before, talking about fate and all of that? Even under their influence... it's still... Out with it! I'm serious, Rosmarine! That's enough! It's aching for what was taken from its bosom, Elise. What'd they take from its boobs? Now that you're here, it's reacting to you. Rosmarine? I still don't understand, Rosmarine. What are... Can you hear it? Oh... Uh... Hear... What? These roots... The earth... Uh... Oh, that's a... Oh, that's... Oh... <laughs> that's kind of freaky! That's... Uh, I'm not scared! They'll guide you to your rightful place, Elise. Hi, Draco. How you doing? I don't have time for this nonsense, Rosmarine. I've done what I came here to do. We ought to leave. To the womb, Elise. Where you were conceived. Where you will go to meet your fate. Rosmarine! I mean, Rosmarine does talk about fate all the time, so... To think he's once more trying to take you away from me. Turned my bosom into this parched wasteland, and yet... This womb of mine still responds to your presence all the same. What is this? I will bring you home, Elise. I will do everything in my power to... Green. Take my hand! Uh... What in the Lord's name? I will bring you home, Elise. Uh... <laughs> Come with me, Rosmarine. We have to get out of here. Wah! 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 Can I save? This is where we save. This is where we save. This is where we save. Is that boss battle coming up? Why do I hear boss music? English, Aqua. I don't know if it even speaks Japanese. I don't know if I can... If I can... Reason with this thing. Ah! Ow! Oh my god, I keep think... I keep, like, undershooting that. I have to, like, super get out of the way of these things. Ow! I forgot! I forgot! I forgot! I forgot! No! No! Oh, it's so... it's so fast! Ugh... Okay, 
Okay. Here we go! What? I went around that! I swear! Oh, great. Oh, I'm... I'm screwed. <sighs> Hi, Kogila! Man... Ah! I screwed up already. Yeah, the art and the atmosphere are delicious for this game. Truly. Not used to me not being a bee. Yes! So, um... For certain reasons, I can no longer... At least for a while... Use my VTuber model. Um... So I am instead... PNG tubing... As the character that I voice acted as in this game. Oh my gosh! <sighs> oh wow, Rosamarine was doing all that dodging with me too. She's got the reflexes. <laughs> Dear Lord! <sighs> oh. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh my gosh. Is it? Is it gone, Rosmarine? Hmm. I suppose. <gasps> what was that? That thing, anyhow? They're preparing for your arrival, it seems. What is this? Oh. Wow, they made a whole statue for you. I've never seen him this eager, I must say. In the Lord's name? You'll slip away. If I don't hurry, I'll lose you. Rosa Marine! What's wrong with you? Please. Out with it! I've had it! We're leaving this place! Hmm... I guess this is kind of what she wanted. Glory. No! <laughs> oh my... God! <gasps> Rosen Marine! Come quick! You have to get up! Oh. Oh. You gotta. You gotta hydrate. You gotta moisturize, dude. It wasn't that she didn't moisturize. She just... It wasn't her. Then where did Rosamarine go? Is she okay? Ouch. Oh, we're in bed again. Huh? This is what happens when you work Sundays? <laughs> <sighs> what am I to do? I feel so confused. I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going. That wasn't Rosmarine either. Oh, what am I getting myself into? I'm so utterly alone. Let me guide you, Elise. Rosmarine. <gasps> it's another one! Ah. <gasps> ah, this is where Wild and Wandering Thistle comes in. Yeah. <laughs> 
Get an ending in one stream in Ventor. It's gonna take uh, multiple streams to get to an ending. Mm -hmm, the art direction is very 80s, 90s. Yeah, it's meant to be based on like 90s anime. Ah, day four. Ah! We get to go on a date today. Yeah, so Aru has a beautiful voice. Actually, Freya and Love Kuhan were going to have character songs as well. But, um, in order to make it on time for a Halloween release, um, we weren't able to... to get those songs done. And so, um, I am commissioning one of the... one of the, um, composers from the game myself to make a Freya character song. And so you guys can definitely look forward to something like that. I don't know if it's gonna have as pretty animation, though. <laughs> mm hmm when did I get here? That dream I had... about Rosmarine. Rosemarine! I have to find her! Ow! My eye! That... wretched crow! Why did it make her trip? I ought to find Rosmarine! Uh, people have suggested that inventor, but I don't... I think the issue is, like... Mmm... More like it'll take a long time for it to, like, get, like, animations and stuff for it, you know? Mm-hmm... Yeah, please look forward to the Freya song! In the meantime, I would say... Of all the songs I've released so far... I think Fairy Tale Is most like... A song that Freya would sing? Or maybe, like, um... In my garden. That's another one. I hope Rosin Marine's okay. Oh, it's Flock. Hey! Where is your owner? Oh, what am I doing talking to a goat? I mean, Rosin Marine does it. Oh, yeah, maybe it hurt so much it brought her to her knees. Mm. What about through the microphone? Um. I don't think they have microphones in... in a uh, little goody two-shoes. Mm. So I don't think Freya would be si would sing that one. Good morning, Elise. So yeah, if you wanna take a, get a little preview of what Freya's singing would be like, feel free to check out on my YouTube. I have an album and two EPs and uh Two singles out. Mm. Ah, uh, good morning, Elise. Uh. Have you completely lost your wits, Rosmarine? Last night in the woods? What were you thinking, Sing? I'm sorry. Huh? huh? You weren't yourself, Rosmarine. What do you mean? Out with it! Oh, don't give me that now. But I... No, Elise. I didn't even step foot in the woods. You were there with me the entire time, Rosmarine. No, I wasn't. Okay, this is where you start freaking out, Elise. I couldn't follow you into the woods. The trees blocked my path. You went on ahead no matter how much I called for you, and I... 
I did wait for you, but you never came back for me. <laughs> yep, that's where you freak out. Oh, Aqua, thank you. <laughs> if that wasn't Rosmarine, then who in the Lord's name? Are you alright, Elise? Is everything alright, Elise? You look a little. Rosemarine. You can talk to me. You don't have to keep it all to yourself. You know, I. I. I had a dream about you. It was. Please. I saw you and your grandmother, and. I felt like I was seeing your. My path to finding you in Kieferberg! Oh, Elise! <laughs> Ah, uh, good night. Good night, good night, King Cobra. Oh, yes, Hope to see you next week. Fate, you say? You still don't believe it, do you? Ah, uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us, Abby. Hope you had a great time and definitely have fun checking out the VOD as well. I'll see you next week. Oh, yes, Hard not to after last night. Oh, did you get it? Huh? <laughs> Why, the testament, Elise? Now that you mention it. Yes, I... Those crows... They... I was offered a strand of my own hair, and... Oh, Elise, that's wonderful! No, it's not! It was literally the freakiest thing ever! All you need to do is prepare it to be eaten! Eh? Eaten? Remember, these are gifts you're giving him, Elise. But it's... hair. Uh, yes. A part of your own mortal body, yes. Gifts for the host. Food, drink, and good company. Food, you say. The tender flesh needs to be food? Are you alright, Elise? You look tired. Uh, I feel like I'm losing my wits, Rosmarine. Please. I don't know how we're gonna face everybody in the town today, either. Come now. Let's head out to work. Everything's falling into place, Elise. You'll see. Uh, I don't know about that. Everybody in town hates us now. Say, Elise... I've been wondering about that room upstairs. Granny Holly's bedroom? What about it? Wouldn't you like me to clean it as well? There's no need. I don't go into there at all. All the more reason to give it a good sweeping. I haven't been in there since she passed, you see. Oh... I'm so sorry, Elise. I didn't mean to... That's alright. In fact, I don't even have the key anymore. I locked it up the day she passed, and I don't know where I put it. I understand, Elise. I wonder what happened to that key. Knowing myself, I may have thrown it off the peaks. I get the feeling that we're gonna end up going into that room at some point. I personally don't like it when I'm eating and hair gets into my mouth, but if this guy... If this demon or whatever likes eating hair... Good for him, I guess? Okay. Well... We got to do one date today... With Freya. And... Crazy things happened. Shall we... Shall we end stream when we get to the final date? Of the... I mean, not the final date, but the, the date that we have today? Hopefully, it's not too chaotic in town. As long as your voice holds up. Thank you for... Thank you for thinking of me. I honestly should take it a little bit easier. It's never really, like, fully recovered after I got COVID. But I'm having such a good time voicing everybody. <gasps> oh. My gosh. They're in the town now. Oh, thank you, Blast. There's so many crows! Oh... Are you right, this can't be good. I'd best hurry. <gasps> Martha, thank you so much for the raid! Welcome in! Welcome in, welcome in! For those of you guys that are new here, I'm Phoebe, 
your 2.5D fairy tale idol that loves to write her own songs in Japanese and in English and perform them on both the IRL and the virtual stage. And I'm also a voice actress that got to voice the character Freya in this game in both English and in Japanese. So we're playing through it every Friday until we get Freya's good ending. And... We're gonna go on a date with Freya today. How was your, um... How was your stream, Martha? I hope you had a wonderful one. What did you guys do? Also, um, Naramore, it's so good to see you. How have you been since Northwest Idol Fest? Everyone, please give Martha lots of love. She is also a Kai Guy Idol. Oh, hello, Granny. Oh, there you are. Leb Kuhan asked me to warn you two. What happened, Granny Gretel? Oh, poor Apfel struck a dreadful fever. Oh, no! He's one of the little kids! Leb Kuhan and Lizbeth were up all night looking after him. Yeah, I really hope you've been well, Nora. Is he all right? Seems so, but after that high of a fever, I wouldn't want him frolicking about too much. Where is he now, Granny Gretel? In church, I believe. Leb Kuhan said Father Hans intends to keep watch over him today. Father Hans. So it's one thing after another here in Kieferberg, isn't it? Oh, boy. Ooh, Phoenix Wright, which one? The first one? And yes, Aqua, it may very well be smooching time. Smooching time! Oh, can I... Do I have anything to sell? Hmm... No... Yeah, let's buy... One lab cool See you, Granny. Yeah. Playing... The, I'm Japanese, so I play this game with Japanese voice. I love your voice acting in Japanese as well. Ah! Hontoni arigato gozaimasu! Ureshii! Tottemo ureshii desu! Game wa dou deshita ka? Oh boy. I don't think I've ever seen so many crows at once. Come, Rosmarine. We must find out what's going on. Oh boy. Okay, let's save here. We'll be scraping bird poop off the roofs for weeks, Elma. Oh, Elise, would you take a look at this nonsense? These crows, I see. All of Kieferberg is thick with these filthy things. I told everyone I'd seen them yesterday, Mrs. Elma. They're a pest, and Lord knows where they've come from. Oh, but they're not dangerous, I'm certain. What are you saying, lass? Of course they are. You'd best talk some sense into your cousin, Elise. She's clearly not all there, the poor lass. All right. Let's go, Rosmarine. Ah, uh, yes! I still wish we could pet the dogs. Uff, uff. Oh, boy. They smell awful. Many blemished, discolored, and wrinkled apples await to be fed to livestock. Why? Why are you feeding them bad apples? Every time I hear bad apple, the, the phrase bad apple, I cannot not bad apple. Where do I go? I was gonna go to the church, but. I'm so glad! Don't forget the party talk. Oh, yeah. Something I'd say is worth wondering about, Rosmarine. Is how Flock lost his eye. Wouldn't you say? Oh, I've always wondered about that. 
I suppose he must have gotten injured or... Could have been a branch or he might have fallen perhaps. It doesn't seem he's in pain at least. Oh, how I wish I could talk to him. I have so many questions. Such as... Why he followed me firstly. Your hat's made of hay, that's my best guess. <laughs> oh, I'd ask him his name too. Isn't it Flock? I know the fact that Elise never gets Rosemarine's name right. And also... <laughs> Rosemarine never corrects her, but corrects everybody else. <gasps> Yoro! Welcome in, everybody from Yoro's community! Oh my gosh. Um, I'm trying to remember how to say hello in yo yo Minion. Fleshki? <laughs> Welcome in, everybody! Lots of love to you, Yoro. How was your... How was your stream? What did you guys do? It's been a while, huh? Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've gotten a Yodo raid. Wow. Welcome in, you guys. Yodo and I used to be in the same agency as each other years ago. Uh, she's a Yuri pro. And she's still a very, very dear sister to me. Um, I'm Phoebe, your 2.5D fairy tale idol that loves to write my own songs in English and in Japanese and perform them on both the IRL and the virtual stage. And I'm also a voice actress. We are playing a game that I got to voice act in in English and in Japanese. And the character that I played was Freya, who you can see in the bottom right here. Um, feel free to join us. We're gonna go on a date with Freya today. Yeah, we're trying to romance my character. No big deal. Just... All the gay. Oh my gosh, Aqua. <laughs> yeah, Yodo is so much fun. Yodo! Did you know there is a VTuber that I think you should collab with because you guys give me the same vibes as each other? Like, I, so when I watched her debut, I was like, wait. This is like Yodo. This is like, this is like, this is literally Yodo. But like, with an accent. Oh, where to go? Oh yeah, I love you, Yoro. Thank you for the read. Let me go in the church. Let me go in. Mm. Yoro has a Zoomer accent though. Is that a thing? Do we have... Zoomer accents? Hmm, I guess I'll go up here. Uh... Maybe over this way? Aha, yes. I'll take good care of it, Father. Of what? <sighs> There's nothing to see here, Elise. You'd best head back to town. You were the one who first saw these crows, weren't you, Elise? It's not as though you folks believed me when it mattered. I've said it last night and I'll say it again. You're hiding! It matters not, old Jockin. Or Yakin. We must focus on the matter at hand. We all had our fill of trouble last night, didn't we? I don't need any more yelling, that's for certain. Now, they didn't steal that much grain, folks. You know, I... How much did they steal, Mr. Gustav? <laughs> Thank you, yep! I love voice acting. I, I... You know, it's thanks to you guys that I got as much of a range as I do, because... Because I didn't have very much of a low range before. And then we played through Omori together. And I think it was voicing Hiro and Kel that allowed me to, like, do more of a guy voice. <sighs> Thank you. About a sack in total. We got here in time to prevent the worst. The darn birds were building a nest in the oven. We ought to give it a good scrubbing later. It doesn't seem like they're they're keen on attacking us, at least. We've locked it up and entrust Yujen here with the key for now. I appreciate the trust. Of course, especially after all of yesterday's goings on. Because she's she he was stolen from, or because he has no horses to steal the grain with? Who's to stand guard here then? Before we get into that, Bernard, there's something I'd like to say. We're all well aware of what happened last night, however. We ought to stick together, folks. Now more than ever. Papa's right. Papa's right. We gotta be nice to each other. 
Stop sowing the seeds of suspicion. That's I'm talking to you, Yakin. You heard the man. Kieferberg is what we make of it. Don't forget that. I ought to head back to church. Is Atfel feeling better, Father? That's what I'm looking into, Finn. We best go with Elise. Lev Kuhan will fill you in, I'm certain. Will do, Mr. Gustav. What the heck happened the night before in town? Oh, did you get to see the part where, uh, they all didn't believe me? They all accused Elise of being a witch? After she, like, saw something, she saw a dead horse and then it disappeared? I was wondering, Elise. Mr. Bernard said the crows were trying to make a nest in the oven. I suppose it's a cozy little nook. I don't see what's so... So there's an oven in the windmill, right? There's always been an oven in the windmill, Rosmarine. What's your... Oh, tender flesh, Elise! Uh, get your priorities straight, lady! We have to avoid suspicion and also there's a kid that's sick and also there's crows all over the town and also we're being accused! Wouldn't this be a good way to prepare it? Making bread out of it, you say? Maybe you could ask about... But don't we have a... Don't we have an oven? Of our own? At the house? Maybe you could ask about town if they let you in? Now that you mention it. That's rather risky, Rosmarine. But... I suppose, but... I can't think of any other way, either. Not if I want to find him. It's worth the try, I'd say. Alright, I'll see what I can find out. There's an important question you need to follow on this day. Ask about the key. Don't skip it or you'll lock yourself out of any real endings. Eh? I'd say they snuck in through the roof, Gustav. When did you realize the crows were in the windmill, Mr. Ludwig? Le Heinrich came about to collect some flour this morning. He was the one that gave the alert. So you've locked it up, have you? You must keep those birds out, Elise, or they'll take all our grain. Hmm... You could draw them away. Maybe if you scattered some grain elsewhere, Mr. Gustav? Then the windmill could still be available, and... We thought about that, Elise. Nobody was in favor of wasting any more grain, lass. Ah, uh, I see. We ought to keep a close eye on the windmill, Elise. You can have a word with Eugen, perhaps. No, of course. Well... Thank you for letting me know, though, Cat. It'll be on your mask... Map task log. It has a couple of tasks... parts to follow. Um... Ah, oh, there you go. So we have to talk to Lizbeth in church right now. Hmm... No use whining about it, Jacob. It's a no. But Granny! What's wrong, Mrs. Marlin? It's Atfel, last. He's come down with a fever last night. I've heard, yes. Do you know if he's feeling better, Mrs. Mrs. Marlin? He is, but it seems the fever was gone in the morning. But... Lepkuhen said the poor lad was delirious. Oh, please let me go see him, Granny. Absolutely not. You know, you're gonna get sick yourself. That's sad that it's so easy for you to get, like, locked out. Oh, boy. Ah, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Phoebe Hive. Okay. Time to go to the church. Hopefully, Apfel's okay. Save everywhere. What are my suspicion levels at? Ooh, two. Hopefully, I can find Muffy somewhere. Hi. Ah, it's nice to see you, Elise. You've heard about Atfel, I assume. I only heard he was ill, but that's all. Oh, the poor lad. I can't bear looking at his little hands. What about them, Mrs. Dorothy? It's best you hear it from me, Elise, so you get the real story. You've been up all night, Lizbeth. We can tell her. Atfel is fine now, as you can see, but last night, he... I was awoken by him moaning, speaking nonsense. His fever was... Oh my gosh. 
His fever was boiling him alive. I... We called for Father Hans and brought him to church, but... Fell had never been so ill. I thought I'd lose him. He wasn't all there either. Kept mumbling to himself, and I... I don't know how, but his hands are injured. Oh my gosh. It's horrifying. And they were so bloody. It's as if they were pecked at by something. I can't explain it. Oh god, the crows. Please collect yourself, Mrs. Lisbeth. That's right, Mrs. Lisbeth. Take deep breaths. At first I thought he caught the goat's sickness somehow, but... It doesn't explain his hands. Or what happened to my goats? Oh, this is my disgrace. It's all right, Mrs. Lisbeth. We're all here for you. It's all right. You know, I... Oh, what about the goats? It must have happened while we were... Oh my god. Praying for Atfel in church. When Mrs. Lisbeth went to fetch him dry clothes, she happened upon two of her goats lying on the ground. They'd bled to death, their tongues had been ripped out, and her heads were severed to- Oh my god! That's terrifying! You can rest assured we'll help you, Mrs. Lisbeth. I shall arrange for a doctor to come as soon as possible. What am I to do with one sick goat, father? We'll make certain you and the children don't go without, Mrs. Lisbeth. You're welcome to have supper with Finn and I anytime, Lisbeth. Thank you, but I don't have strength, Dorothy. Mrs. Hmm. Dorothy will be looking after Affel, Mrs. Lisbeth. You'd best go home and rest for the day. Of course, Father. Thank you. Hmm. Come, I'll walk with you and Affel home. I'm sorry, I... Thank you so much for the follow, Jet. Welcome to the Phoebe Hive. This is awful, Elise. Hmm. I'll have to pay them a visit later. Oh, boy. You're back, eh? <laughs> yup, yup. At least on Fridays. It's one thing after another, isn't it? But first things first. I ought to figure out how I'm gonna get my hands on that key. Oh, boy. Yeah, and I, I can't V2, but... Oh, nice! I have, um, I have a VOD for the first part of this series on YouTube, if you want to catch up with the story and stuff. But, uh, we're playing a game that I got to voice act in. Any luck, Elise? No, I think I've lost it, Rosmarine. Folks won't let me through at all, and Mr. Eugen won't give me the key. I see. If you could somehow prepare it in there, Elise. I know, I know. We do have that oven in the backyard, but... That's true. Why don't we use that instead, Rosmarine? No, I'd say those crows were trying to tell you something, Elise. By gathering in the windmill, huh? They're urging you to do it, that's for certain. I don't think there's anything else I can do, Rosmarine. Ugh, we'll see. Is everything alright, Miss Marielle? Oh, Elise, it's so horrifying. To think this would happen to Lizbeth of all people. On her own with two young children, too. Oh, I wouldn't know what to do with myself. I haven't seen Grun all morning. I had a word with Mrs. Lizbeth early this morning. Grun was in tears. I couldn't bear the sight. Seems they're going to be in class with Dorothy and Lep Kuhen. I'll see what I can do for them this afternoon. Even if it's just keeping them company or entertaining Grun. Oh, I can only hope none of this misfortune gets sent my way. Oh boy. Yeah, we got a perfectly good oven in the backyard. It doesn't have to be that. There's no rules that says it has to be that. Mizu, how you doing? What day? Oh, I haven't had a proper night's sleep since Friday. Lisa here has been sleeping like an angel, I'd wager. Messing with me first thing in the morning, are you, Mrs. Bertha? My, there's hardly a need to threaten folks like that. I'm not... How she's not... Th she's not threatening anybody. How was this a threat, Mrs. Elma? You can tell us, Elise. There's no harm. Heh! <laughs> Don't say that! You were the only one who knew about these crows. Why is that? Because I'm the witch! No. 
Mrs. Bertha's taking a liking to teasing us, Mrs. O'Dealy. I suppose. Truly, Bertha, this isn't the time. Why, I'm not teasing anyone. This is a legitimate question. It doesn't matter who saw them first, Bertha. What matters is that we're here and they're not leaving no matter what we do. This is an omen, that's what this is. Come now, O'Dealy, let's get you home. Aha! Chose a good... Yeah, it's, it's best not to fight with people, honestly. Aha! Freya! Oh, can't Saturday come any sooner? This week has brought us nothing but trouble. These... these Krells are all about town, too. We ought to have believed you yesterday, Elise. It doesn't matter anymore, Mrs. Ariane. All that's keeping me in good spirits is the festival, if I'm honest. You've heard about Atfil, Elise. The poor boy. I'll ask Mrs. Lizbeth what I can do for her later. She hasn't the time to look after herself, I'd wager. Oh, I can't bring myself to smile on days like these. Now that's truly a shame, I'd say. Ah, why, cause she likes my smile? You can't see that out here, Elise. Huh? Why not? Oh no, Elise is... Ah! She's got the riz on accident. Dance. <gasps> what? What are you two wittering on about now? Uh, it's nothing, Mrs. Wilma. Doesn't concern you, Mrs. Wilma. It only concerns us. <laughs> Elise! Uh. Oh my, we'll talk about this at... at sundown. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Hmm... Ooh, help Marlon with the chickens. Time to... I'll show you guys my chicken skills. Mm, no. Hi, Rivets! How are you? I've missed you. For goodness sake! Chicken Frenzy! Chicken Frenzy! Chimkins. This is how you do chimkins, you guys. This is how you chimkin. So, yeah, you pay attention. Ah! They're so. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Oh, whoops. Ah, I didn't mean to go that down. Down. Okay, this is where I get serious. Doing this. I'm redoing this. I won't accept any lower than an S on Chicken Frenzy. Oh no, I hope you feel better soon, Rivet. Ah, uh, shoot! I'm getting too greedy. Yeah, what's more important is that the chicken has, like, just left the egg. Oh! I'm being so clumsy, I keep going to places that I don't want to go.
No lower than a no. No! No, I'm loading a save. <laughs> Consistently getting an A for this is already super good though. Thank you, but... I won't let down. Okay. And then I talked to Freya, right? Okay. And then... Champions. Of course, Mrs. Marlin. Alright, alright. I don't have enough bread. I love the speed up sounds too. <laughs> no! Oh, I've already screwed up. I've already screwed up. Why am I like this? My concentration is so bad today. Dreamer a little while ago. Oh. How was your stream, you guys? Such a 
game or... Ah. Oh, so they were all right, I see. On the contrary, they were rather agitated. Wait, sweet, so am I gonna get locked out right now? Should I not have... Wait... Oh... My god... Check your map. Yeah, I didn't know I had to talk to every single person and every single, like... Ah... Uh... I just talked to everybody during the same day, it would be fine. I thought I did talk to the explanation exclamation point. Cause I wasn't the excl oh no, it was right here. Ah. Better days will come, lad. But I'm settled in Primaldorf, God willing. Oh everybody wants to leave Kieferberg. Don't make hasty decisions. Hasty decisions, Eugen. What is it, Elise? Hmm. So do I like specifically ask about the key? You guys can backseat me for this for this specific choice because I don't want to get myself locked out. Uh. Okay. With the key to the windmill, even. The last is right, Yujin. It's a shame for you to leave. Nothing I can do about that, folks. There's nothing left for me here in Kieferberg, you see? Still, I think everyone would miss you, Mr. Yujin. Please reconsider. No, I've made up my mind, but I do appreciate it, Elise. Even this key. I will only be holding on to it until the evening. Until the evening, Mr. Yujin? It's too much responsibility, Lass. Oh, man. Why do I always do this? This is what happens if you have a small keyboard. I could take it to Mr. Gustav if you'd like. That's alright, Elise. There's no better place than Kieferberg, lad. Still need to keep the sus down, we do. So I think I had this. It's so funny that not having this one key limits you to getting one ending no matter what. Wait, that's so sad for people that like... Because we still have to get two more of the testaments, right? So like, you would have to redo so much of the time. Small keyboard, what kind of keyboard? Um... What is this? It's a... Sky long... Keyboard. I don't know, it's one of those like super, super like small keyboards. Okay, I'll have another talk quest. After this. Thank you guys so much for helping me. Okay, and then I do this. Actually, Let me... There you go. And then I can get... Roz and Maureen to help me with this as well. I 
I'm so sorry that you ended up having to redo so much of the game. Oh no, you missed this. You gotta start over too. No! Please tell me you use multiple save slots. Okay, I will get an S a second time. Come on. They need to stop running out all at the same time. There you go. Yay! You played it. We played the game four times for the routes and had a lot of fun. So much love poured into it. I agree. Everybody worked so hard on the team. And... Honestly, even if I wasn't... if I, Even if I didn't voice a character in this, I would still love it so much. Yeah! S first try. <laughs> okay. Cool. Hey, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, the song stuff is so cool. Ah! Freya! It's rather tricky now that we don't have Yujen's horses. You could lend us a hand, Freya. Elise! Oh, Elise! Why don't you tell Papa to stop before he... Huh? <laughs> Freya's as strong as I am, believe it or not. Eh? Papa. Papa! Looking rather flustered, aren't you, Freya? Because he makes it sound as if I'm a... A what? I'd say it's an asset, not a fault, Freya. <laughs> I'm not that strong, anyhow. I must say, I'm curious to see that now, lass. Don't pressure her, Heinrich. Wait, really? Oh, but even I would like to see how strong she is. Oh. If... If my love Elise says so, then I suppose I must demonstrate. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you guys didn't know... Freya is actually really, really strong. How's this then? <laughs> Sheesh! Oh, I can't believe it. Gustav weighs as much as a horse, but look at that. She barely broke a sweat, too. Attagirl. That's my daughter, Attagirl Freya. Oh, Papa. Oh, <laughs> I guess I just read her mind. Papa? Not in front of Elise, too. Huh? This is the kind of cheer Kieferberg needs. Truly, I'm tired of hearing about this witch. Ah, Freya gets embarrassed in front of Elise. She wants to seem ladylike. <laughs> voice of Freya voicing Freya. <laughs> It's w it's good thing Apple's feeling better, Lizbeth. No use in brooding now. It'll only wear you out even more. Oh, I can't help but worry. Mr. Bernard is right, Mr. Mrs. Lizbeth. Even so, you must keep an eye on the children. How's your horse, Eugen? Tired still. Poor things lying about in the hay. 
So are my goats. To think someone would do such a thing. I've been keeping calm, not wanting to rile folks up, but... You've been too calm, I'd say. Cursing Kieferberg to hell won't bring my horses back, Bernard. Someone ought to have done it, that's all I have to say. I must say, I'm starting to understand how those old folks feel. Mrs. Lizbeth! It's certainly easier to believe there's a witch, isn't it? Uh, I don't know about that. She'd be better off marrying you, Jen, I'd say. Wait, who? Mrs. Lizbeth? Who's marrying you, Jen? Oh, Bertha's jesting, Elise. You have to agree, Marlene. They're about the same age, too. Wait, who? The things Freya would do for Elise even if she feels embarrassed. Exactly! <laughs> I'd do anything for Elise. Oh, you guys know? You know, like, uh... Do you remember in, um... That Pixar movie? Um, the one about the feelings and stuff. Yeah, there's a part where, like, her fantasy boyfriend is like, I'd die for her. Yeah, that's, oh, that's Freya. She's like, I'd die for Elise. Oh, but please don't actually, because she wants to sacrifice you. Is Elise a witch or evil, or but pretending to be good? No, Elise is not. She's just... She's just a little selfish, that's all. <laughs> She's not bad, though. You can't be talking about Mrs. Lizbeth. Who else would I be talking about, Elise? Now, we can't be spreading this nonsense about town, you hear? It's far from nonsense. Those children need a proper father. Yeah, uh, inside out. Exactly, that one. Eugen's leaving first thing next Monday, anyhow. A big mistake, if you ask me. I'm not too certain about Eugen myself, but... I must agree poor Lizbeth would be better off now if she'd remarried. I wonder what happened to her first husband. Oh. Muffy, where are you? Oh, there you are. Muffy? It's you! Oh, boy. That's enough! I'm not giving you one more crumb! Ooh. But you promised! You promised me some lamb kuhan! I promise you nothing, Mercy. Well, folks are already think it's strange, Elise. That you knew about the crow since y yesterday. So. You know what? Why don't you go ahead? Who's to believe a scrawny little squealer like you, anyhow? Old Yakin does, Elise. Mrs. Odili does, too. Oh my gosh, you brat. Oh, do they? What are you telling them, then? <sighs> that I saw y you talking to those crows y yesterday. Why are you... Why do you stalk me? There was a g golden one, too, wasn't there? Happy. Why, you? <laughs> F following you about town is truly s so much fun, Elise. <laughs> uh, I just know you have the lip cool and you promised me tucked away somewhere. Uh, I just... ate it. This isn't what I asked for, Elise. I don't care, Murphy. I either take it or leave it. Oh, you. N nobody ever calls me by my name. H how would you feel if I called you Elsa? O or Eliza? You make even one little squeak about what you saw, Murphy. And you'll throw me deep into the well? Y yes, ma'am. But before you, I go. B bring me some Out soup tomorrow. Off with you, Mandy! <laughs> oh. Huh. <laughs> oh, man. You, yeah, you sound familiar. Did you, did you do a VA for Idea Factory or Nis America? I've done VA for Inti Creates before. But, um, not for Idea Factory or Nis America. That would be cool, though. I get so lonely all by myself in this inn. I'm buying soup... for Murphy. Oh, man. <sighs> I'm glad you like the... The, <laughs> the Muffy voice acting, too. Are you sure that's all, sweetheart? Um... Why? I'll be looking forward to seeing you, Elise. Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do more VA stuff in the future. 
I really love it. We were just talking about you, dearie. Me, Mrs. Matilda? Oh, Elise, aren't you scared of these crows? They're more of a nuisance, I'd say. See, Brunilda? Elise doesn't let it get to her. Oh, but there are so many. They haven't attacked anyone, have they? No, not at all. They're just hopping about town, it seems. It certainly is strange, but I don't think there's much harm. You don't think there's a witch about town, Mrs. Matilda? I'm old enough to know such things don't exist, Bruno. See, not all the old people are old geezers. You know very well, Ma. <laughs> she is lonely in the inn all by herself. Truly, Mrs. Brunhilda, you can't listen to those old folks. Oh, I suppose that's true. Ugh, not playing Kiss the Rat with you. Kiss the Rat never. Ugh, old Yakin. Oh? Eh? <laughs> oh, for goodness sake! Why, it's a fact, Elise. What what you ought to do, Dorothy, is wear your rosary all nine months. Oh, thank you so much for the raid, NDL. How are you? Welcome in. How was your stream? Oh, thank you, Wolfgang. I hope that all of us get to do more of the stuff that we love as well. Oh, I will, I will, but Brunhilda, she... What about Mrs. Brunhilda? She's been doing these... Divinations. Uh... I don't think those work anyhow. It's all old wi wives' tales and whatnot. Still, Lise, it could be harmful if she goes too far. With this witch nonsense about town, too. It may have been her who brought all these crows, even. Oh, for goodness sake, Mrs. Lorelei. Honestly, Lorelei, we can't go around making accusations left and right. She would never do such a thing, Mrs. Lorelei. All right, all right. You don't all have to pounce on me like that. Haha, <laughs> suspicion down. I could get the suspicion down even more, maybe. What kind of chores? Oh, the chimkins. Okay, well, I'm gonna go find another exclamation point quest. Maybe back here? It is adorable! But it's also a horror game. It can be both. Those are not mutually exclusive. So, there's another exclamation point somewhere around here? Oh, it shows on the map where it is. Talk to folks to investigate. Oh, maybe I'm in the right place. Aha! There's you, Jen. They've had their fill, I'd wager. The crows, Mr. Guido? They've been circling the windmill all morning, the bastards. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Phoebe Hive. Yet they haven't come for the grain even once. Hmm. Hmm. Would you say they won't? They haven't attempted it until now. Who's to say, Elise? We can't leave the windmill, that's what. Uh, no, I was saying that maybe now... They're not coming for the grain because we're here, I'm certain. They'd become... They'd come diving down the moment we left, I'd wager. That's a given. I suppose... Aha! Suspicion all the way down. All the way. Cute and scary indeed. Oh, Plum! How have you been enjoying Little Goody Two-Shoes? Did you finish it yet? All right, I think I am allowed to go play with the chickens again. Chimkin time! Look at all them chickens! <laughs> you guys know that video? <laughs> I love that one. Are you one to eat a lot of eggs, Elise? What else is there to eat in this town anyhow? Ah, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in! Oh, you have enough for a hog or two, I'm certain. Hi, Phoebe. It's nice to meet the lovely Phoebe. Oh! Welcome in! I love your voice acting you're using for the game. Oh, thank you so much! Really appreciative of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, exit. 
行こうはい。Chickens won't see, won't know what came at them. <laughs> oh no. Too many of these chickens are synced up with each other. That does not make things easy at all. Thanks for believing in me, you guys. Thank you. That sounds like the title of some weird 80s anime. Ch Chicken Master Phoebe. What? <laughs> Ta <gasps> I do believe it is time for a date with Destiny. Oh. I need some web. Oh no. No, uh. <laughs> Don't mind me. There's another exclamation point conversation I need to find, right? Understood, Maddie. Oh my god, even Lep Kuhan doesn't know her name properly. Yeah, a big mood subwoofers. <laughs> oh, but, but my auntie's going to... What have you done now, Molly? Uh, Elise! It's not what you think I did! She stole one of Mrs. Elma's buns she had cooling on the windowsill. N no, I didn't. She gave it to me and... Mrs. Elma had me give Molly here a good earful. Does your auntie not feed you, Molly? It is complicated. She doesn't? I'm still a growing lass, Elise. Eight buns a day isn't a... Eight buns? I can't afford eight. Either way, Missy. I it's Muffy. Why can't any of you... Stealing is never justified, all right? You can come to me if you ever need anything. Oh, Lab Kluhan. I if only Elise was as kind as you. Why, you? M maybe it's best y you go home to rest, Lab Kluhan. I'll go with you, and you you can get me some pretzels. Oh my gosh. You spoil her too much. You really do. Okay, let's go get some bread real quick. Oh my god. Whoa. I love this music. <laughs> Ah, good night, Dr. Krauski. Oyasubi. See you next time. Um. Yeah, let's get some bread. I will. Also get a love cool head. There you go. It's 
so loopy feeling. Okay, Breb. There you go. Man, feeding Roz and Marine so that she can help me with chores is really rough. I didn't know what Lev Kuhen was either. I was wondering, Elise. Don't you find it strange the crows are still hanging about town? Now that you mention it... I already got the testament. There's no real reason for them to stay. Unless there's something else they want from you, Elise. Such as... Oh, I wouldn't know. Something else they're wanting. They've guided you to the windmill. I suppose that was nice of them. Ah, uh, how nice of them indeed. And maybe they're waiting for you to tell... Waiting to tell you something else? We'll see about that, Rosmarine. Maggie eats a lot. You mean Maxine? <laughs> Okay, let me go find that last exclamation point, um, conversation. The map. Oh. I guess... I guess there... I guess there isn't another one. I can just meet Freya at the inn. We stand a queen that eats two breads for lunch. Two breads! Tis date time. Ooh, look at those two. They are made for each other. Both... Old hags. Oh yes, and I already got the soup for Muffy tomorrow as well. There she is. Enjoying yourself, are you? Elise! I'm so glad you're here. I was losing my wits. Now that you mention it... Mrs. Wilma's been giving you a hard time, I wager. <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but she can be a little pushy. <laughs> Ill-bred and ungrateful. That's what she is. <laughs> I like how Freya never defends these people. She's just like, hell yeah. All of Kieferberg would agree with me, and you know it. Sit now. Let's stop talking about Mrs. Wilma for a moment. And talk about... us. You put up with too much of these folks' as nonsense, Freya. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. She's always got a daisy prepared to put in Elisa's hair. I don't have much of a choice the way I see it. Yes, you do, Freya. Folks have always praised me left and right, Elise. I can't help but feel I ought to live up to their expectations. Yeah... Freya really does end up being pretty relatable. At least for me. You don't have to live up to anything. You know that. I know. But... You wouldn't understand, Elise. Huh? <laughs> Daisies truly do suit you best, don't they? For goodness sake. You keep avoiding the subject, Freya. <laughs> Not on purpose. Yeah, actually. Yes, on purpose. Yeah, very... <laughs> you are avoiding it on purpose, Rhea. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> you know it, I know it. I know. But... I have always been ashamed of what I did, Elise. What... What did you do? It's alright, Freya. It's in the past. Folks kept pitting us against each other when we were children, and I... See, this is what I'm saying, like a rivals to lovers arc. <clears throat> oh, Elise, I ought to confess. <laughs> uh, uh huh? <laughs> confess? 
Gay, gay, lesbian, gay. The eggs you picked for Mrs. Bertha that day. I broke them. Ah! Oh, that's not the kind of confession I was expecting, but... I mean, it's good that she's apologizing. Even if it's, if it's that many years later. I broke them on purpose! Freya? Oh, what can we do? I made a mess of her laundry that day, and I was so afraid I... I had her give you an earful instead, so she'd forget about me. Oh, this sounds like a very kid thing to do. Honestly, children are evil. This is the kind of thing that, like, kids do to their siblings and stuff. Hey, she's apologizing for it now, though. For goodness sake. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Elise. I did so many bad things back then. Blaming you for my blunders. Getting you in trouble at every chance. Telling the townsfolk you weren't capable so they'd ask for me, and... I see. I said it's alright, Freya. I didn't understand how I felt back then either, so I... How you... How you feel? Eh? For goodness sake. Well, we do love some good character development. For goodness sake! I don't hold any of that against you. Then, when you said I was overcompensating, I... You know, I... I understand, Freya. I know how you feel now, all right? Elise... Things are different now, aren't they? We've been spending more time together being honest with each other. Elise! Oh, Elise! I like being your friend, Freya. Let's put it all behind and... Oh, Elise? <laughs> Elise? <sighs> I've been wanting to hug you like this for so long. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's wonderful. I love spending time with you, too. I've always wanted to get close to you. <laughs> and maybe even more. <laughs> Freya! I can't breathe! <laughs> now that we're truly friends, I... I'm truly so... I'm so happy. Freya! I ought to have said all this a lot sooner. <laughs> man. Wow, that's... That that kills the man right there. Elise is strong. She can handle it. Freya, dearie. How are the reeves coming along? Freya has strength stat in the triple digits. Yeah! Honestly. She'd have like... She'd probably have strength and charisma. I think. It's Mrs. Wilma. How are you so strong? Oh, right. Before I go, Elise, I'll be home all afternoon tomorrow. All afternoon. All by myself. Without my papa. So, um... If you'd like... Wink wonk, wink wonk. I'll... I'll be there! Freya! Uh, I'm sorry... I'm coming, Mrs. Wilma! For goodness sake... Uh, I think I'd better... Sit down a moment... Stay the night! Stay the night! Stay the night! <laughs> Right, pretty? So cute. Yeah, Freya does all the bone cracking ASMR. Hi. With that. Um. 
I'm gonna save here. Elise is gonna get her back blown out tomorrow, too. That... doesn't sound quite right, Aqua. I don't know about that. <laughs> um... I don't know about that. <laughs> hey! We're going to... <laughs> hey, I didn't say it. Aqua said it. <laughs> I am going to be wrapping up stream here. Thank you guys so heckin' much. I will be setting up the waiting room for next week's stream right after this. And I hope to see you guys there. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Yesterday was Thanksgiving here in America. And I wanted to say... That I am so... So, so grateful for all of you. Thank you for cheering me on, whether you've been here with me for years... Or if you just tuned in for the very first time today... Or if you're watching the VOD... Thank you very, very much... For always believing in me and cheering me on... It's really what keeps me going, chasing all my dreams... And I hope that I can be there for you and make you guys feel welcome... Every time you pop in... So thank you... Um, if you guys aren't already a part of it... I do have a Phoebe Hive Discord... The link should be on my website, I think... Or if you go to my twi my Twitch, I think it's in the about section or something like that. Um, but thank you guys very very much for being part of this. It's been really really fun, and I hope that you've enjoyed all of the Freya shenanigans. <laughs> thank you for loving me, and thank you for loving little Woody Two Shoes, and for loving Freya. Hey, right, let's find somebody to raid into on both ends. Um... Yes, I'm very excited for the next bit as well. Um... Let's see... Honestly... Okay, on Twitch? We could probably raid into... Hmm... Yeah, the Freya bear hug art is just so good. Ooh! Okay, let's raid into my friend Belindra... ...on Twitch. I really, really love all of Belindra's art. And then on... Yeah, she makes some beautiful, beautiful art. And then on the YouTube side... Honestly... Not very many people that I actually... <laughs> not very many people that I actually follow or are, are subscribed to are streaming right now. So, uh... Don't mind me as I raid into... Someone from Hollow Knight! <laughs> Don't mind me! Don't mind me! Um... Thank you so much, by the way... To Cyberpunk for the super chat... Thank you, Cosmo Aura, for the super sticker... Thank you, Athesis, for the super chat... Thank you... So much, Athesis, for the super chat as well... Thanks for the stream, Phoebe... The game is so cute and the art is more and more gorgeous as we go for your best girl... I'm so happy that Freya's your best girl. I'm so glad. <laughs> um, for everybody on Twitch, here is your raid message. And... Let's see... On YouTube... Our raid message will be... Um... Buzzing in, have a happy day! Thank you guys so much! Big, big, big love to you! 
I hope you guys enjoyed the stream and please catch us next week as well for the next part. Um, we're gonna be playing at, at the very least until we get Freya's happy ending. Um, um, the next stream is going to be next Friday, December 1st at 5 p.m. Pacific time, as per usual. Thank you guys. Big love and I will see you around. Bye bye. Bye bye.